Yo, yo, what's going on, people? We're back right now. Yeah, Tipsy Talk, Wavy Wednesday, Champagne and Conversation, Bant Before Bed. Again, don't look up for TD and Radio, all social media platforms as well. Your host, Jungle J. And I've got two special guests today. I've got the Petite Princess and I've got Adele with me. Jeez! Yo, yo, yo. yo. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm wave right now. You guys got me heated now because you obviously talked about my R&B guy. <sighs> Just me out now. Who's cancelled? Who's not cancelled? Hey, 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 hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do that. As soon as I come on the air, you want to talk about who's cancelled and who's not? Like, rah. Can I draw my thing out? <laughs> Look, not, bro, he's not, Chris Brown is the one right now, R&B wise. I ain't gonna listen. I still want my feature, but it's not right that you're beating women. It's just, it's just not a that. Like, it's not a that. I hear that, but if she's moved on, we can all move on, isn't it? <sighs> Maybe one day. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> you don't like that. So, quick question: yeah, generally, how are you lot feeling? Like, how are you lot generally, like mentally wise? You okay? It's okay. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> I'm alive, but I'm dead. I'm alive, but I'm still here. I'm waved. So you know, how are you doing though? I'm waving as well. It's tipsy talk. We didn't expect it. Tipsy like. talk. Come on. <laughs> Big up Magnum. Hey, sponsor me, though. Sponsor me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Magnum's a sneak. What about Rain if you like that? Rain if you. Ooh. Do you know what our thing is? Maggie and Stardust. Because she smokes and I drink. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. It's always a spliff and a Magnum. So it makes sense. Sometimes we switch our room. Sometimes, but... sometimes it's a little. No hey, yo, bust, bust me the zoo. They were missing the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you two meet then? We went to school, we went to school together. together. Primary school? Secondary. Secondary. Do you remember the first day that she met each other? <laughs> I do. This this girl doesn't. Right, what happened then? So I remember, obviously, I'm the new girl. Name's Adele. So it's like, I just remember her coming up to me and she kept saying hello to me. And she's like, hello. So I'm like, like just a wave, innit? And she's like, hello, hello, hello. And obviously, I'm not saying hello back because the song's popping at the time, hello from the other side. And <laughs> like, she's really inviting, isn't it? And then she turns around, walks away with her kickers, and she's like, she's rude, I'm saying hello, and she doesn't even say hello back. And I don't know, a couple months later, friends, isn't it? Oh, months, not even days or weeks. No, no. Like, we had different friendship groups. Oh, okay. She was on the other side of the year, yeah. so yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I don't remember that, though. I must have been away from a long time. <laughs> must not be naturally lit. I'm naturally lit. Naturally to be lit. honest, I don't need no drink. So <laughs> you know, like that. Mm. Okay, that like North London. <laughs> no. Whereabouts? E- east. Whereabouts in the East? Custom. Wow. What was it like growing up in Custom? Oh, it was the ghetto. Is it? Yeah. I can't lie. It was. It weren't really that deep for me until like I started seeing a couple of my people like losing their lives. Yeah. Mm. I think it's different for girls as well. Like you don't really notice as much until you get older, because yeah. then you start to see more. Because then we're all looking for the hood guys. Where they at? Where they at? <laughs> Wait, who's from customs? Pardon? Who's from customs? What? Uh, Bain, 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 Bain. Oh yeah, okay, Bain, Bain. Kojo funds. Okay. Yes. So you guys don't like Jay Huston? I love Jay oh, yeah, I'm just oh, asking. Just asking. Love Jay Huston. Just asking. Just asking. So how long would you say you've been active in music then? Ugh. Oh maybe like a year now but obviously i i was singing from young because i used to go to church Same. um yeah so i used to go to church were you forced to go to church you to no nah, i was forced Same. that that was a forced thing like yeah. you know jamaican households that like, i used to go to my grandma's every sunday 7 a.m listening to gospel i'm like grandma allow it <laughs> and then she's like on put your sunday best on no <laughs> no, it was not like that for me. So yeah, every Sunday I used to go, I used to sing in church, I used to sing. I used to even learn piano. So like, is, is your keys? Hmm, come on. Okay, you okay, could, okay. Dibble dabble. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and then after that, I was like, "F this man, just jump on the rap." And mm. I did. I was rapping from like fourteen, doing like freestyles. Everyone used to take the piss. I can't lie. Everyone used to be like, "Oh my god, you're never gonna make it." <laughs> I'm on radio now. Jeez, talk about it. Hello. Uh, talk about. Do you remember the first rap you wrote? Yeah, it was about sneezing. <laughs> no, or was it about farting? It was about one or the other. It was about sneezing or farting. It was, it was mad. It was mad. Mm. Yeah. But I thought it was like a poem. But then I was like, oh, this is actually kind of cold. I was talking about sneezing. It was actually banging. And then, yeah, when I actually first properly started, the first thing I did was the Eminem, the Mockingbird thing. You remember that? That was my first ever rap. I even was told, but I don't think you'd call it your first thing. Remember when there was that um, 
that Harlem song that you, you hey, 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 love it, love it, love it, love it. <laughs> If you don't know what she's talking about, basically, you know when Harlem Spartans were like kind of trending when they mm. first come about, like yeah. in the drill they were bopping. So obviously, like me and my girls, like we had this one rich friend. We always used to go to her house every summer. She had a pool in her backyard. Hey, big up Destiny Dog. But white girl. Yeah, no, nah, she's mixed race. Okay. She Shout like so me. we used to go to her house every summer, mm. and like there was this one time we was all like pretending like we were man them. So we put on like the. the the gloves, the hat, everything, and we were freestyling. And then we put the Harlem Spartans beat on, and I was just like, yeah, yeah. And it it went viral. So mm. it was lit. It was lit. 51k on TikTok and that. Come on. Please yeah. talk your thing. <laughs> nah. So that... what, what's the first video that went viral for you then? Like, what was the <laughs> I'm a bad bitch. I'm a bad <laughs> I'm a, basically, I, I was I was going through a difficult time. Mm. I was being cheated on. So yeah. I made a video of me crying and laughing. Slapping myself, saying, I'm a bad bitch. I'm a bad bitch. I think I'm in love. What am I doing? And then basically, like, I sent it to my girl's group chat and they posted it and it went everywhere. And then it ended up getting a milli on TikTok. A mil? On TikTok. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's actually like, I was actually going through mad mental health and you lot were laughing at me. <laughs> but now you're giving me the clout, so I may as well just laugh it off in it. Mm. So, yeah. So, do you, that views and numbers matter to you lot then? No. Nah. I just want to get my story out there to be fair i don't really care about the views as long as it makes a difference in somebody's life then i don't really care mm. to be fair as you know in terms of the uk scene there's a lot of females out there i just know what separates yourself from everyone else then <laughs> a lot, of things, a lot. A lot of things. i feel like a lot of the females no offense no one come for me but they're jumping on a bandwagon like they're all sounding the same. Yeah, man. They're all talking about the same thing nowadays. Like, I can do that. I mm. can be the hot girl. I can do that. But I'd rather have substance to me. I don't want to come in the game and not have substance. Mm. So that's why I started off with Dear Pops. And it did all right, I guess. So, yeah, that's why <coughs> I would say I'm different. Well, Very different. Well, how I found about you is my cousin, my little cousin, he said he needs to listen to this girl. And obviously, he played me that the Jay Clark song. Oh wow! I thought you held your own on that tune, isn't it? Come on! I thought you held your own on that tune, first in it. Okay, we got. I think they're saying here. See that, right? And then you see the personality, personality comes up. Yeah. So what's got coming up? What we got coming up for the rest of the year then? Listen, I'm just, I'm yoloing it right now. Like I'm going with the wind. I'm trying to drop a couple more stuff, and I'm working. I'm thinking about dropping an EP, hopefully soon. But it's gonna be like a real rap kind of thing. Mm. But yeah. Do you think there's anyone in the mission that you think it's overrated kind of thing? Like, I know my boss definitely better than her, but she's kind of on the space right now. I'm not there. Female-wise? Yeah. In the industry? Mm. <laughs> I ain't going to say you nothing. You know, just because of how people are on socials and stuff, I feel like if you say something, I'm going to get dragged. all going to be triggered. I like... would rather not say. No, the reason why, because I, I I'm don't, i not really an AJ Tracy fan, personally, but he's like that space, isn't it? Mm. But I rate the work ethic. So mm-hmm. I just want to know if you're a female that you thought that was the same kind of thing. Female. female that's overrated. I can't lie, lad. I think a lot of people are overrated, I'll be honest. Like, obviously, I'm bigging up their team because, like you said, the work ethic is mad. Mm. But I just feel like, you know, there's a lot of, like, underground artists that deserve a lot more of a platform Big because facts. yeah 100 like Big i'm facts. i'm looking at black box ciphers and i'm seeing people bodying them but mm. not getting the recognition they deserve mm. and most of them are very much like 18 19 like they're coming up in the game and they're not getting the recognition they deserve and i don't really understand why i feel like people don't want substance in their music anymore they just want oh yeah handbags gucci yeah no nah. <laughs> it's not like that i'll be honest but I'll be honest with yourself, you might be good at freestyling, but mm-hmm. you might not be good at making tunes. So there's a difference. Like, personally, I'm not really a Russ fan, but I cannot say he, can, he does make a hit. He can make hits. Listen, isn't it? he's doing his thing. He can make hits. But oh. lyrically, I'm not really a Russ fan, but he can make hits, though, isn't it? He is cold. At the same time as what you're saying, some Shut people are good at freestyling. Shut <laughs> <up>. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the plans for the summer, man? <laughs> Where's the party at? Oh, where the party at? Listen, you know, says, Patrick, I'm be at my house. Oh, <laughs> we're probably going to be in her shed smoking. Yeah, smoking Inside. Yeah. Shed. That's but do you know what it is? Get the summer, out on the phone. 
right in listening to beats that's that's what we do that's what we do that's summer we do. is not summer in the way that i need it to summer yeah so i'm not you're not gonna see me out here skinning out like <laughs> The most you'll see me skinning out is to go see drug dealer. Hey, you're looking at a few friends. Yeah, that's that's us. Yeah, Um, and studio, we're gonna be definitely working. I'd rather, I've got time to have fun. I'd rather work now because I'm getting a name for myself. mm. So it's better for me to work and rest later. No sleep for the wicked. Well, I feel like as well, last year, I kind of, I mean, we wasn't together last year, summer, like towards the end of summer, but I feel like last year, summer, I had fun. This year, it's like, even though it hasn't been summer, it's like, even when we're working, it's fun. Mm. It's like, it's not really work. Mm. It's like, when we're going to studio or we're certain places, it's just, it's lit, like it's a vibe. And there's always with this one as well, because she's such a, a personality, it's like, you can't really be upset around her because she's just a clown i'll just rise you up bro she's like babes babes are you sad are you sad come 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 take the split (laughs) you get it like like it's even if we're working throughout the summer it's still going to be summer for us because it's going to be fun 100 percent. i said no do you write your own lyrics is that even a question? I'm just curious no you never know (laughs) these days you don't know these days you don't obviously like sometimes i'll sit and have some creative insight by Adele like Adele helps me write but she's very very good at writing ran, ran, ran with this or like why don't you go for a story like something will happen to her and I'm like bro this happened last week right about this mm. <laughs> she'll we'll be in studio and it'll be lit after we're like bro we just we just made, made a, a banger, banger like off. even the other day I must have been in studio <laughs> bro do you know how much good vibes that was well, like that was vibes. good vibes that's that really good vibes do you look down at females that don't wear their own lips then no no, I'm not, not really, at all. because at the end of the day... Everyone needs some crea- creative vision. Do you get it? They're still kind of doing their thing, but it's like, if you can write your own lyrics, mm. and I feel like it depends on what type of lyrics you're writing as well, it kind of broadcasts a bit more like what you're capable of, your talent in a way. 100%. I feel like it's quite hard to write about something. Especially if you've never is, been through anything. Yeah, it, something that it's emotional, I feel like it's, it might be hard to write about something like that simply because it's like your emotions can get in the way of 100 yeah. like if you lot was to ask me right now write a drill song i couldn't do it mm. i couldn't do it because first of all that's not my interest and second of all what's drill about drillings common now and i'm not on that stuff like i'm i'm very much it to has myself to be, like meaningful to you or you yeah. have to, i feel like especially like with you you write your best music when you're in the mood to write like that as well 100 percent Hundred percent. I'm glad you touched on that because in terms of these drillers artists, can you tell when someone's lying? Yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. One million percent. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on now. Hundred percent. They do it more with chest. Okay. Yeah. Right. I feel like there's a lot more chest, like a lot more, a lot more and it chest. needs to be toned down. Mm. C- couple notches. Couple notches. A couple notches. You need to take it right back down to knee height. <laughs> <laughs> go back to school, educate yourself, <laughs> then come back, start doing the music, and let's see if you come with the same energy. Not that there's anything wrong with drill. Like I've seen a lot of people, like for example, Ross, Tion Wayne, they're turning it into something that's just you know a jumpy kind of thing. Like back in the day, I didn't really like drill. Like obviously, I liked drill, but I didn't really like it because I'm not really like one to listen to violence. Like that's not me. That's not what I'm about. But it's recently just got popping that. It's now a bop. Do you know what I mean? Mm. More catchy. I'm kind of the opposite. I always kind of like drill. Yeah, but I know. I, for me, it's kind of like, I don't know, the beat, like, even, I mean, not so much the lyrics, but when you listen to the lyrics or the way someone's rapping on top of the beat, it's like, wow, that is, that is cruddy. Like, it's like, oh, 100. my days. If you actually sit there and you take in what they're saying or how they're saying it, it's like, you must be very lyrically talented to say something like that. And I'm literally sitting here trying to figure out like how did we get from a to b <laughs> literally how did we nah, get it's real b? though you could be talking about chinging someone you don't even know that they're talking about chinging someone right. there's some mm. different lyricism to go over it but it's, it will go over a lot of people's heads nowadays people are gonna people are having to be more kind of like subliminal with it because police are really trying to get into the drill scene now they're really trying to just Word, like, get everybody off the streets doing drill like thinking like even songs like gunning like the song is literally called gunning like 
gun lean. Right. But you have people like the song's gone viral, mm-hmm. it's charted, Blue. you've got little kids dancing along to it. Like if you actually sit there and you deep the name of the song, Gun Lean, and some of the shit that might be being mentioned in this song, you're like, raw. Like, how can something like that go mainstream? How can you sit there and that anyone, all age groups can vibe to it? And then you, you deep it like the way my man's rapping or like the flows he's got, like the way he's putting it all together, it makes sense as to why he's doing what he's doing. 100%. Mm. I can agree. I have nothing to say other than that. Yeah. I'll be honest, me, I I don't mind drawings because Drew, like, is you lost. That's my hip hop, innit? Like, that's you lost. Yeah. And the reason I prefer the American one because they, at least they're dancing to it. Oh, yeah. They're dancing. Like, like, CJ Wooty, that was my, that's my tune, isn't it? Nah, what's what's that song? It goes, they actually dance, so there's actually dance steps to it. And yeah. again, with English, like the English drill, like, I like authenticity. So, I mean, I'm a big Millions fan, isn't it? Oh, okay. Millions is very, I think Millions is different, isn't it? Hey, Millions has got that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he's cold. He's, millions is hard, but again, okay, cool. One person has the mask. That's different, isn't it? But now everyone's wearing the mask now, isn't it? So, you know, right. who's who kind of thing. Everyone's got numbers in their names now, so I don't know who's who kind of thing. Mm. So it's a bit different. But I just want to know, do you, in terms of music, do you look, think you get the same support from your circles? No. No. I'll be honest. I feel like, slightly, some people say it's easier for females to blow music, but I feel like it's easier for boys to blow music. It's easier for boys to blow because it's like, for them, they can make money in yeah. mad ways. Right. Whereas for a female... Mm. If we go to, you know, them places, I'm not going to talk oh, about them places. <laughs> <laughs> if, we go them, if we go them places, <laughs> it's very more like, it's not authentic you don't, you don't for a female. female like, it's like, maybe even, a if I, even if I did go crunch and I, I made a drill song about me going crunch, oh, she's rinsed, yeah. she's done out here. But for a man, man can say, I'm going crunch and put pebbles in my bum. Are you dumb? Like, they, yeah, they that, talk about banking packs, everything. And do it, you know what I mean? And it's, 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 it's okay. It's like, mm. Or but, I feel like, even like, in terms of, with females, like, females themselves are just, I don't know, you can think they're your friends, but like, females have the maddest evil eye, the maddest evil oh. eye. So it's like, with boys, I feel like, most boys are around for like, their boys when they're doing music, because it's more genuine. With females, I don't feel like it's as genuine. So I'm saying, I, I never. Females s- are very, very. Ooh. I never see yeah. female collabs anymore. Words. Like you get, you get the Russ, the Tion Wayne, and then they done the whole, the whole body remix with a bunch of boys, and they even had Darko on it too. But you don't see a female collab unless you're American. I hear that. But so why do you do like a custom? Custom house amp for a minute, like you two and get another custom house girls. I don't amp. live there no more. I live in Essex. I'm moved. <laughs> and I was a get out. Yeah. I'm moved. I'm living it up in Buzz Vegas. I'm living it. In, I live in Buzz Vegas <laughs> now where all the cats want the blood and the coke and the everything. Ain't nothing wrong with living it up. Nothing yeah. wrong with that. Come nothing on, wrong with that. Come on. But no, I do hear what you're saying. Yeah, I hear what you're saying still. <laughs> <My hood. laughs> so some DMs saying them, man. My DMs. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hey, hey, mute. <laughs> mute. I, 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 I,
barely any followers because they could know one person and that one person could know many other people Words. that could get Big me facts. where Words. I need to be. I don't need to pay 150 and you're, you're DMing me asking if I want promotion and you want me to promote <laughs> the promotion that you're offering. Listen here, uh. if me want your promotion, me I take it, me I want it, period. Words. I just want you to do you oh, think radio is dead because podcast? In what kind of sense though? Like, do you think you really need the radio plays because someone could just jump on like one certain podcast, bam, blow up from that kind of thing. Like, that certain yeah, I don't think radio is important anymore because I can't lie. As soon as I as soon as I get into a car and you're playing Capital, I'm putting on orcs. Like even today, the DJ not deal with us. <laughs> yeah, I put on Capital. We let we let that one little cheeky T on Wayne Ting play. Mm. Then I was like, nah, put on the orcs now. Nah. You're, you're doing too much. You know, like that. Put on the exclusive. So the reason why I disagree because you, you might have someone like in Middlesbrough. Yeah. They might have no in fact, what in terms of podcast in it, but they might put on the radio, see what, what are these London people are listening to, and then bam, might listen to one of your tunes in it. And people, some people radio do hold certain weight. Someone like Tim Westwood and someone like they still hold some weight, isn't it? Yeah, but that's that's if you're putting it on mad platforms. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like Tim Westwood, definitely. Capital probably. Kiss defo, but. Like, other than that, radio ain't really important because someone can hear you on the radio. But you don't know who's who, though. That's the exactly. thing. You don't know who's listening. Exactly. You don't know. That's true. But I don't know, man. I just don't know. What's the main struggle? Well, what's the main problem or stress that an underground artist goes through then? Or first time in the industry or first year? Um, Don't know. You don't really know who's genuine, in a sense. Because mm. you could meet somebody that especially for a female i've come across it so many times like you could meet somebody on the internet and they'll be like yeah i want to help you da, 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 da. and they just want to f you over really 100 percent, 100 percent. as a female it's a lot more difficult to realize who's genuine and who's not because at the end of the day like as much as i am clued up i am a very like i wouldn't say i'm vulnerable but i can be in a sense because I'm not really used to people trying to help me with nothing in return. So mm. it's like, when I see someone trying to be genuine with me, I'm like, yeah, oh my God, like, they're so lovely. They're so nice. Like, I owe my, my life to this person. And then they do you dirty. Mm. It's just, you know. But it's life, though, I guess. Oh, I guess cool. males come come across it too. But, I mean, it's it's a lot harder for females. And you never know who wants to help you or who wants to F you. Would you, Having a pretty face is a struggle. Would you? We so call it, no, we call it a halo effect, isn't it? That's yeah. Right. Would you ever do like reality TV? Yeah. Yeah. Put me on Bad Girls Club. <laughs> Bad Girls Club. I would say Love Island, but Bad Girls Club. Love Island. You go Love Island. No. If I'm, I can't the right like, fans, it? I'm gonna say this from now. If I'm on Love Island, I'm not there to find love. I'm there to make the money. Yeah. <laughs> I'm there to make the money to get the. To, bro, have you clocked? Like from day one, they jump into the. To the island they mm-hmm. get the blue tick straight Big facts uh, so i would only go there for the clout like i'm being honest i'm being real so if you see me on there everyone that leaves love island that plots it they leave with some whole new career like Big they facts. automatically yeah. they got brand I, deals, brand deals. everything so you, you don't think you a fake relationship then i wouldn't do a fake relationship if i find someone genuinely in there which i probably won't because the majority of the people are caucasian mm. and that's not really my type mm. And then you have the one black boy and the one black girl. <laughs> but it's true. It's, it happens every single year. This is why I am not tuning into Love Island this year because it happens every time. The black girl always gets picked last or the black male always gets picked last. And it's so, it annoys me. Like it annoys me because it's blatantly all in our faces. But mm. yet everyone's still tuning in, still giving them props for the for the show. It's all not genuine. People people that have left Love Island have come out and already said, oh, if, if they're having beef, the producers will take them over one corner and make them shoot this scene and that scene. Like, people have said it. Like, it's not genuine. Like, mm. yes, yeah, reality TV, but it's not it's not genuine. Like, none of the connections are even genuine, in my opinion. I know it's not. Apart from the only person I've seen that's actually proper genuine is Molly May and Tommy. Mm. Like, that's that's the really like, I don't really I don't watch it personally. I think there needs to be like a love and gram or love and drill UK. Oh, that's what I think. God. I think that'll be live nicely. Like I would love to see it kick off in like chicken cottage or Morley's in it. That, that's me personally. <laughs> that's my entertainment, isn't it? 
Uh, you think this is chicken day? <laughs> chicken day? What's that thing called? Yeah. What's that thing called that, that Amelia girl does? Yeah, it's chicken day still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chicken shot day. Hey, I want to jump on that. But so. I've got my own thing about that as well, me personally. I think she's clapping for that, me personally. She's, I can't, I she's can't hilarious. She's, you can't, can't, you can't, can't knock her. her. You can't, no, I knock can't her. Knock, I, no, I, don't, I can't say I'm knocking, but you really think she honestly goes chicken day by herself on a normal day, honestly. No, of course. Yeah, not. but obviously, but that's what makes it. But you right can. It. That's what makes it funnier because you can tell that she's being a comedian. She's and funny. Look at the people that she's putting on the yeah, no, <laughs> on her chicken shops as well. Yeah, mm, I don't know. Me, I'm just. Like, I just she, she's I don't not know. even going there and getting a standard two wings and chips. She's getting chicken nuggets. But Every I mean, time, and she's not words. putting sauce. No, it's nothing. That like, she is bland, <laughs> but she's funny. She ain't no, bland in comedy. What's up? <laughs> hey, you don't know about Lee Roe, man. You didn't grow up in the Lee East. Lee yeah. Roe. Lee Roe, it's a chicken shop, but it was the. Everyone used to say it was pigeon meat, but it's a bang. <laughs> if it was pigeon meat, it bangs. I'm like. showing you, see the boys after school, you have to run with your four wings and chips because I, you leave with just chips. You <laughs> <laughs> just chips. You know. Every day after school, I get my four wings and chips. And I'm do you know? Do you know because you're pretty as well? It's always like, you're like to the boys, hey. I forgot my one pound. Can I have a wing, please, Miz? And you just go around with the boys. Get, you have 10 wings by the time you leave. Is that what you're doing? Finesse, yeah? Come no, on. I can't lie. My wings got finesse for all the man. Hey, no. All the way. In terms of chicken, what? I or they drumsticks were or flat? Like, no, they were wings. Wing. They were wings. Yeah, well, flat or drumsticks? Drumsticks. I can't lie. I like a little piece of both, you know. I like, like, I get a bit mad if you put three drumsticks drumsticks and one flat wing. I'm thinking, <laughs> like, give, me one, like, give me two of each, innit? Like, what are you doing? I like flat wings, though. I don't know. They have more juice. Okay. Why are we talking about wings right now? <laughs> Why are we talking about I'm wings? Tipsy, I'm just going with a drink goes in it. That's all. Yeah, <laughs> I have a drink. Oh, now you're off the drink. <laughs> I'm basically you're listening to the game. This part of the game is called You Decide. So, Her game. So there's a box. There's a box there. There should be a couple there. there. Hello. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah, it's called You Decide. What you do, Adele, you take a drink and then Miss, you take a drink and yeah. you take one name and you take one name out and you decide which one's better, isn't it? Hey. You understand? No. <laughs> Hey, like, we're a bit. Hey, we're, no, we're a bit blonde, lad. Like. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta take time with All right, us. Cool. And then we take a sip. Yeah. I, a... I need a drink first. All right, cool. We're gonna go spicy rum because we're spicy guys. Okay. Yes. Are you got a Mexican? You, <laughs> <laughs> you got the black grape. It's all good. It's all good. Oh yeah. Hey, take a Here we go. But yeah, so take a sip yeah. and take one of the names out of the thing. Out yeah. Couple of and then Kayla, you take one, take a sip and take one that, and you don't decide which but one's better, you know, isn't it? The thing is, like, Kayla don't know how to sip her alcohol. I would drag it she down. Won't sip. Is it? <laughs> so, <laughs> the the <laughs> so, this one is the best dishes, isn't it? I'm, I'm cuisines. This is the best okay. cuisines, isn't it? Wait, yeah. do I need to take one as well? Yeah, yeah. So, we have to take a sip first. Yeah, take a sip first. All right, cool. And then pick one out. Don't one look to look me, <laughs> bro, allow me, bro. <laughs> so, okay, what have you got? Spanish. And what have you got, Miss? Lebanese. And you don't decide which one's better, isn't it? Lebanese. I don't know what Lebanese is. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I feel like it's better. Is it Turkish food? No, bro. Don't take the piss. Don't, don't mock my country. Don't do that. No, bro. What is it? Maybe one day. No. Can I Google it? You can Google it if you want, isn't it? You don't know what Lebanese is. So what, you have to decide which is better, Lebanese. Just because or... I don't know what Lebanese is, I feel like that's like scallops and that. That's mine. I don't know. I've never had Lebanese before. No, Spanish. Spanish. I would definitely say Spanish. Yeah. Uh, wait, you, you, got, really you got paella. Okay. See, man knows paella. Okay. Look at me. Look at me. Spanish. <laughs> it's Arabic. So you have to decide which food is better, isn't it? Yeah, but what kind of food is it? Let me see the dish. Ugh. <laughs> Ooh, that's looking dead. <laughs> that's looking dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going with Lebanese food. Alright, cool. Because like they, they have kebab. Kebab. Yeah, but do you know, know what it is? Do you know what it is? Yeah. Turkish kebab always. Whoa, yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, you got Spanish, you got Lebanese. Which one are you not choosing? Spanish. Sorry, you what? Lebanese, you should stay. You stick with Lebanese, you chicken with Spanish. Spanish is like paella. And... Yeah, I'm, I'm taking. Yeah, you're looking clueless. You're looking like a piece of clueless. You just look like curry goat or something. Which one? Which one is it? <laughs> Lebanese or curry, Spanish? Have curry goat or something. <laughs> it's I'm not gonna, that hard, bro. I'm, I'm gonna this is this is what it is. Because imagine it actually every time. Spanish, yeah? Spanish, every time yeah, we man. pick food, I'm like, bro, what do you want to eat? I don't know, bro. <laughs> I'm giving her two options. Bro, just pick. I don't know. 
we will be there all day. All right, so it's one or two you missed. Put those names to the side, take another sip, and then choose two, di two different ones from the thing. Okay. Sip, not walk. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll sip. When I'm old. Even then, I'll probably go. <laughs> ah, cool. Italian. Ooh. What have you got, miss? French. Oh, croissant. <laughs> Snails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Italians, like... Spaghetti, no. I, okay, I know Italian pizza, pizza, pizza garlic bread. Italian. So you have to choose which one's better? Italian. Italian. Italian yeah. Don't ever take me to, to eat snails. I can like, pick them up off the floor. Oh, what are you talking about? Maybe after that, I don't know what I'm eating. French fries. French fries. No, but that's not a French. It's, French. <laughs> that's, that's it's not called French, French fries. Isn't it? Bro, that's yeah, French. That's, that's like American fast food. Man. It's French fries. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> nah, no, I must. We, we actually there. went to a community school in East London. Is like, it? You got it. You got it. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> our school was rated one of the worst in the borough. Was so, that good, yeah? Yeah. Like we used to get in so much trouble, but then it turned into an academy. I don't know what's going on. We got more funded. Because... No, but you know what it is. Newham is turning into like more of like it's being more funded. So that's why it's turned it's gentrified, into. Gentrified, yeah. Oh, yeah, man, it's kind of dead though now. No, change is good. Look at nah. Shoreditch. Look at Shoreditch. Yeah, but Basaba. Oh, Basaba. Oh. We need to go. Oh. Have you ever had Thai food? No. Have you ever had Basaba? Man, have you ever had Basaba? Basaba. Go Shoreditch. Next time you go Shoreditch, Basaba. go Basaba. It's the best. There's one in Stratford as well. I'm pretty sure there's one and everywhere, West. but. Basa oh, oh. Basa. It's the spicy beef nude. Oh. <laughs> so put those in the same that side. Take another sip, oh, and then take two you. more, isn't it? Yes, cool. So it's two nil, okay? Wait, how has she got two nil? Cause you you said the thing in it. Oh oh oh! That's and what I'm saying. Picking up some good ones. <laughs> <laughs> Turkish. I'm winning. <laughs> Mexican man. I think Turkish food as well. <laughs> Hey, big up my country, though. Big up my country. Okay. We win every time, all day, every day. I feel like they're being raped a little bit. I feel like... Ah, yeah, so Frida, we'll take another sip. And it... <laughs> it's not worthy, but might as well carry on, isn't it? Ah, let's see this one. Hey, no, if I win again, it's rigged. <laughs> hey, Chinese. Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's no. No, she's taking them. She's taking them. <laughs> What's the price? So, no, the bubble was 4 0 in it. Oh, yeah, there must be two, there must be another round. That's right, been another one round. More. There's I've, one more. I've already lost. I've never seen something 4 0 before in it. Listen, <laughs> Petite Princess wins everything. All right, last one. Uh, I don't even know what that food tastes like. What is <laughs> Nigerian. Know. That's jollof. What's better than Ghanaian or Nigerian? Nigerian. Well, you got German, so what you say? German or Nigerian? What is what is German? You got the hot dogs. I don't know what food they sell. The sausages in the end. I can slack. You know what it's called? I can slack. I don't know. I don't speak German, yo. Oh. Hey, oh no, wait, hold on. So you, you're saying Nigerian over German then? Yeah. Of course. Five nil then. See, I win. I always win. I never lose. <laughs> I never, never. Oh. Let me just tell you something, though. Tough times never last. <laughs> what is that? Alright, <laughs> 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 cool. K was that, yeah. Well, quick question. In terms of music, do you think music's like turned into like a popularity contest? Yep. Oh, yeah. It's never about now, like, making a difference in someone's life whereas when there was like like little kim and people like that mm. there was like it was pretty much like everyone could relate in a sense but now i just feel like everyone just like i'm the best i'm the best i'm the best like now it mm. it's not all about competition you're all gonna make the same money at the end of the day eventually is there something in the uk that we think that is underrated yeah me but apart from you and you Adele as well <laughs> apart from you, aside from yourself you think there's um, something that's underrated underrated yeah females yeah females yeah 100 percent. i have a good think about this since i actually want to give you an answer for this no i think it's genuinely females because you see like female. no i can't lie not all females i i don't really like female rappers I'll be seriously right. yeah she's so, not like you don't like lady Lashur and all that no, my iphone goes pinking <laughs> 
Nikki, <laughs> Cardi, Ruby Rose, Dream Doll. Other than American rappers, I don't like any UK female artists. Not one. Not one. There's not one I listen to other than Steph London. No, it's not. Anyone, no one else I listen to other than my best friend. That's it. Hey! Uh, hey. UK, you, don't like Miss, you don't like Miss Banks? Like, I don't listen to her music. Not to say I don't oh, like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. She is lovely. I feel know. like she done, like, she shelved the um, Gundine remix, isn't it? But I don't listen to female artists at all. Like, what female artists other than American ones that I have on my playlist other than you? Name one UK female artist. <laughs> there's not one. Nah, there's actually her. not. I there's actually I, none. I, I, I'll be real. Female rappers in the UK, I don't, I don't really rate their thing. I don't. Why is that though? I don't know because I don't. I don't. I feel like what they're rapping about. They're all rapping about the same stuff. Mm. And I don't know. It's just. It's not. It's not something I want to hear. In it, it's like okay, cool. It was like they remember when there was the Mella twins. They done that fleet bop tune. That was sick. Yeah, <coughs> there was that like back in the day. Hey, I served her off, shoes. You know, I served one of the Mella twins shoes. In Pulifon. yeah, man. And then there was the um. When IVD and Abigail first come on the scene, that was hard. And then from there, I, I don't know. I just feel like everyone from there, there's no one that's doing anything different. Like, yeah. Some of the older you look, so there's a name that you look, might not remember. He, you guy might remember. Oh, Nikki. Oh, my God. Oh, Nikki. Yeah. Hey, you know that girl? She is mad. I said, get F from the back, skim la la la. <laughs> hey, she's mad. Old Nikki was hard. I can't it? lie. As she much was, as, as much, for as, as, much as she said a lot of mad things. She did her thing, bro. She was she, she was one of the first females that I knew that collabed with Sneak Ball. Mm -hmm. That's jet ski waving there. Jet ski, yeah, 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 I'm a jet ski, so I'm a little that jump on a jet ski. Are you not? Hey, listen, don't talk to me about music, <laughs> you know. I'm cool. What's your favorite era in music? Like, because me personally, like, my last one, Funky House, was, uh, that's my last, like, I got excited mm. for, isn't it? That's my last one. You really it? like it. Nah, 90s stuff. Oh. I'm very R and B ish. I can't okay. lie, I listen to a little bit of everything. Like, see me, I like country music. As oh, well. like, do you know what country actually called? Yeah, like I lived in Kent for a little piece. Well, so... Old Town Road nonsense there. Oh, that's no, not no, really. That's not really that's country. country. That's country. About, like, country, like as in country, like, Dolly country. Parton and like. Do you get nine to five, yeah, nine to five, yeah, nine to five, yeah. 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 Jolene, Jolene was hard. Jolene, yeah, yeah, I'm Jolene. I'm old Jolene. Golf Brooks and that nonsense there. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think I have a favorite. Like I feel They're like every really had them. A man's nineties, definitely. Yeah, probably would have to be. I feel like life is never gonna be the same. 90s. No, because I know one of your favorite artists, like is Lauren Hill and Kate. I mean, Faith Evans as well, isn't it? How did you know? Research department. Yeah, research. See, when I'm drunk, yeah, that's when I do my best, like revising. Oh my god, no! I love. I didn't really listen to Faith Evans until um my dad passed away, innit? So and... here, by the way. It's fine. <laughs> Um, and then obviously, like she did that song with um, what's his name? Diddy, is it? P Diddy, the, the every step. Oh, oh, yeah. so, so, and I used to listen to that song every day. Mm. Like, and then she done that song. Was that her? Yeah, she did that song for Biggie. Yeah. Um, loving you for life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a really good song as well. Faith Evans is called the Karma. But yeah, and Lauren Hill, she is literally my soulmate. I need her. Like she's speaking for me. I don't need to speak. Yeah, on that one album. Girl, yeah. No, well, she can never do that again. Is like that's it's a all time classic. Don't even argue. That's not a classic album. Isn't it? That is a very much a classic I album. It classic. But every time you put it in the parties, everyone's jumping. Like, come on now. Don't don't take the mic. No, no, of course, of course. Yeah, so. come on now. Not to get too deep, but too deep, a little bit deep. Like in terms of your father, do you? Yeah. In terms of guys, do you class yourself like you can't take the certain guys seriously? Do you have <laughs> the same characteristics of your father. Yeah, that's. <sighs> Very true. At me, just who the guy he was, isn't it? That's why, isn't it? Yeah, he was very. From a young age, he was very loving. Like he was very much present in my life. As much as him and my mom would like get out, go at it, he was very much present in my life. Like I could, there's never been a point in time where I've never had him mm. until he passed away. Like even when there was visitation, because obviously just mad stuff happened in it. He's always been there. Like. Everything I wanted, I would have because I'm his little princess. Everything I needed, he got me. Like he was very much there, and my godfather too. Like without I like them, the shouting and music video by the way as well. Yeah, honestly, like without both of them people in my life, I think I would have definitely went the wrong way. And then obviously when my dad passed away, it was literally like my godfather that led me into the straight and narrow. Honestly, I promise you, if it wasn't for him mm. today, I'd be done out here, fam. 
I'd be done out here. Like I would probably be a prosy. I'm not gonna. Done out here for... I would be done out here. Like I would be. I would probably like be selling my body, and that's just the truth of it. Mm. Now I know the importance of you know having a man respect you because mm. it's like obviously like you know when you're young and like you have daddy issues, you look for love in the wrong places. That's mm. pretty much what I was doing like from a young age, and it's like. I never found the love that I was really trying to look, like find. And I realized like, cause obviously my godfather helped me realize it. Like there's no better love than the love that you have for yourself. So. Like quick question, like when you talk to guys here and hmm. they say something, do you actually look at them and think like, who raised you? Like how are you? hundred percent, hundred percent. There's yeah, 100%. even, there's even one brother that like been talking to you. Yeah. Hmm. And it's like, it's all nice, isn't it? It's nice, but it's like, listen, I know what game you're playing with me. I know exactly what you want from me. Mm. Well, stop it. Just stop, <laughs> stop it. Stop it now. Calm down. Because <laughs> I, I can play these games. Like, if you heard all day, I spoke about it. Mm. Not with you, but I'm texting your brethren. I can do the same game. I can play the same games that the man then play. Like, don't ever think that you're playing me because you're definitely being played. Like, obviously, like, oh, I just added myself out on the radio. No, 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 keep 100 in. That's what we keep 1,000 in. No, no, I'm going to lose all my things. Thanks. It's no, no, no. It's no, no. Though, like, you know when, when... Hey, big up all my things, though. <laughs> Every single one of you. Hello. Hello. Hey, Hello. Cash up. <laughs> I'm going to have to get you to sign an NDA, though. <laughs> this was going on it. Hey. Oh, man. But, yeah. So, I'm um, terms of, like... Our oh, guys approach you normally these days, then, or uh, you see, man, <laughs> that slide in the DMs of yo, don't do that, don't because I'm gonna tell you, go say yo to your mom and then okay. see how your mom responds and then come chat to me, correct? Like, that's the way boys are these days. Like, you even as far as I know you get this as well, Snapchat, that. There's a couple times I've seen a name and I'm thinking it's like my friend, but I don't have this person added back on Snapchat. Why are you sending me dick pics? Like, I have to just what? say it how it is. Why are you? Did you see my soul leave my body? Like that's all. It's true. It's what? disgusting. Unexplicit. Just random. Like no. Do you, do you know what I it is? randomly go out my way, add men on Snapchat, and then send them random nudes? No. So why are you sending me random nudes? That's it's very true. You disgusting. know, it's very common. Like, it's actually harassing. especially on our birthday. What? Oh yeah. About oh. happy birthday, happy, baby. Happy birthday, baby. It, bro. bro, send me some money. Yeah. <laughs> send me some money. Here's right. my account number, my sort code. Send me some money. I don't want to see your willy. I don't want to say disgusting. it. Disgusting. No. Even even there's a couple times. I mean, like I don't really go Westfield these days. Anymore. Wait, wait, wait. Which one? Which one? White City or Stratford? Stratford. Okay, that's Stratford. One. yeah. That's that, one. Was yeah. that was the spot. Everyone was getting up in the car park. <laughs> everyone, everyone was getting up in the car park. Hey. <laughs> and you know that's I'm the car park. I'm gonna lie. I'll keep one thousand. I'm gonna lie. I'll keep one thousand. Yeah, that I weren't one of them. I weren't one of them. Is that what's going I on? I was, I was bad, but I went double. In the car, behind the car. They didn't have a car. They was in school. Was in school. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they were taking bus home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> After they were doing their little thing, they were taking bus home. Words. Some people it's not even a bus. It's a, it's a bop. It's a whoop. It's a hey, whoop. Yeah. Two feet. <gasps> two feet and your ten toes. Hey. Oh my <laughs> god. People didn't even have wires when we were Do you school. know what I'm remembering? And it's really bad that I'm remembering that. We'll talk about that after. We're not going to talk about this on here yet. Shout out to Andre. <laughs> Who's Andre? Oh, I'm just saying Andre. Isn't it? <laughs> oh, no. That's my cousin's name, though. Is Big it? up my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Big up my cousin, still. Yeah. So, what's the biggest or the craziest room that you've heard about yourself in? <laughs> the craziest room I've heard about myself. I feel like my name's been through some scandals. Mad sc- uh, the craziest rumor about myself. I don't even feel like I can talk about it, you know, like that. The craziest rumor about myself is that I. Sorry. Sorry. I can't even talk about that one. <laughs> <laughs> you know the ones that you're thinking about it, like, bro. Oh. Nah, man, the crazy scandals, just crazy scandals. Like, I, sl- I p- apparently slept with people that I haven't slept with. Yeah. Uh, fake bodies. Or I'm, fake hearing, bodies, I'm like, hearing that I've slept with people um, that my friends was all somewhere and 
they had slept with people and I, know I had exactly slept what with you're people. About. But that's funny because I was on house arrest in my yard because I was grounded. So how am I at, at this place? Oh, yeah, you <laughs> was grounded for a little piece. I she had to call me on the house phone. Months. No, no cell phone. She had to call me on a house no phone. No iPhone, no iPad, no, no, no laptop. I was calling her off my, my 0208. Was that when hey. you got arrested? Oh, was that when you got arrested? Yeah. Oh, peeps. Yeah, we've been through some madness, yeah. <laughs> and I tell you, madness. Barcodes, issues, everything. I'm big, not to be brought up trauma, miss, but we're coming up to the time where you had the incident with the police. It's coming up to a year now. <gasps> oh, my God. How? You look like, you, you like my teeth. No. Come on now, I ain't got time for that. I'm too drunk for that. But I just want to, can you just elaborate? Because obviously, like, when I first heard this, I thought, like, bro, she's too pricked to get in a situation like that as well. Like, yeah. But at the same time, that's that's the naive person of me. Yeah. I think like, that can happen. To, this is a London, that can happen to anyone. It can happen it? to anybody. So, can you just take us back to like exactly what happened before that? Like, obviously, I've been in a couple incidents with police, but okay. to do with fighting, innit? So, you actually you're so fighting or but, you're yeah, word, word. You're too, why are you not fighting? You look too pre only ugly people fight. Obviously, obvi- no, but <laughs> it's true. Only ugly people Listen, I was like ugly lose, back in the day. Like what it was with me was like when I was in school, I was very much as much as I was very loud, I was very timid, like very quiet. Like if anyone got onto me on or was rude to me, I was very much like, uh, I'd cry and you know, like when when I left school, I don't know, like a few is just clicked in my head the music was, isn't it the hip-hop it wasn't even the hip-hop it was just i'm sick of everyone thinking they can take the piss out of me mm. because as much as i am a pretty face mm. trust and believe i'll bite off these nails and it will just get long mm. that's that's what it is but it's like with that incident um i was in a car with like my little brother on it well i call him little brother but he's not actually that my brother in it but he's my little brother mm. and he was he called me and I had a photo shoot this day and he was like, Hey yo, sis, I'm driving right now. Like I got my license and blah blah blah. So I'm driving. I was like, say no more. But you see, I saw the license. I didn't get in without seeing the license. I knew we had the license. And then basically, everything was fine. We had a cool day. Then we get on the motorway, innit? And he's already paranoid because he's like, fam, I just don't like motorways, innit? So mm. I see. Get on the motorway now. There's police behind, and he's seeing. And I'm like, "Don't move, stupid! Like, don't move, stupid! Just move, like you're a civilian, even if you're not a civilian, in it." This guy started speeding off at 120 miles per hour on the fucking M-way, and I said, "What are you doing, like, bro? Like, at least if you're gonna speed, speed into Basel then to yeah. drop me home, and yeah. then you can continue this speed chase once I'm out of the car." So he's he's turned into like Basel then, like the side off where you get to Basel then. Feds already waiting with spikes there, oh. you know. <laughs> and obviously, then the car's just gone. I'm thinking, hey, I'm gonna die today. I really thought I was gonna die. It spun, and the feds have all surrounded me. They're like, "Get out of the car!" I'm thinking, "Oh shit." Well, obviously, I'm I'm finding out that protocol is if if they're telling you to get out of the car, they've got to tell you to put your hands on the dashboard mm. to see you ain't got no weapons on you, innit? So they've said, get out of the car. I'm trying to open the door. They've slammed the door on me, smashed the glass open, dragged me through that same window where the glass is smashed and cracked. Like you could have stabbed me with the mm. with the glass. And they've slammed me on the floor. And I've literally like they've stood on my chest and put me on in cuffs and literally it's gone dark for like five minutes i swear down my man's tried to drive away with spikes in the, oh, in the tires the like yeah bro hey. he tried to drive away with spikes in the tire and obviously i had my phone on, in my back pocket I, if you know me i've always got two or three phones <laughs> yeah. yeah i've had one in my back pocket and one in my bag so i'm thinking let me snap this moment they said no i'm taking that i said no you're valid they left me in the cell for 13 hours. And quick question in the cell, what do you girls do? Because us guys, we do push ups and that bullshit, and then we I was crying. I was sleeping. Oh, is it? Did you eat the food? <laughs> they uh, didn't listen. offer me food, they offered me a digestive biscuit. What about you? I, I was 15, I was waiting for my dad to come get me. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm back with that chili con carne, innit? I know it's not it's like geese meat, innit? But I still eat it, don't it? Because I'm hungry, innit? Like, like I'm hungry, innit? <laughs> yeah, listen, tough times never last. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I never last for 13 hours yeah like and you know what's mad about it i had injuries to the head because of how hard they slammed me to the ground yeah mm. once you lift up your wig that's yeah oh so then 
in injury, bro. Injury, injury, injury yeah. <laughs> so then obviously after that, like, um, they've taken me in to be seen by a nurse, isn't it? And they're like, oh, you're fine. Paracetamol, you're good. <laughs> so obviously I'm sleeping. I'm, I could have a concussion. God mm. knows what I have. Because the way that the officer wasn't no like scrawny little guy, like I'm scrawny at this time, and this guy's big, mm. big bear tattoos, everything. Like, I'm thinking, like, raw, don't you want to get me seen by an actual hospital? No, they let me go after 13 hours, they didn't give me my property back. Um, and I met up with my boyfriend at the time, and I literally felt ill, like really, really ill, and I didn't know what was wrong. And I tried to go sleep that next day because I had a shift for work, and I woke up vomiting violently for like three hours straight like i had a bump on my head it was really bad so i had to go to hospital found out i had a concussion like they literally said i'm lucky that it's only a concussion because the way that i had like the way that they hit me to the ground like i could have had brain damage mm. and obviously like for a year straight we tried to like kind of get an appeal try to get some money out of it like some compensation because it was excessive force mm. and Basically, they ruled out a couple months ago that the force that was used was deserved. But it's like, I was a passenger. Mm. I weren't even driving the car. So, it's mad. The reason why I want to say that, because again, that's like the same time around like the George Floyd situation kind of thing, in terms of like protests in terms of London. And again, I know us guys, as black, especially black boys, we get mm. a lot, but we don't really hear the stories from females' perspective in terms of the police, isn't it? In terms of stop and search. They are mad. They are mad. And do you know the worst thing about it was? If he didn't speed, they was going to a different call. They weren't even looking for us. Mm. He sped off, and that's what attracted the police to us. They was literally going to a stabbing. Mad, isn't it? Mm. So, so shoot us opinion about the police then. Fuck them. Am I allowed to swear on air? Nah, not really. But oh, oh, F them. Best if them. My, F my them. experience with police is a bit different. Like, I don't like to. I don't know. I don't like to talk back or anything like that because with me growing up, my mum was in prison, so I didn't have my mum around for a while. But shout out to my nanny and granddad because they've had me back. Like, mm. They've held it down since I was a baby, innit? So it's like, for me, when I'm around police, I don't like to cause a scene, even if it's like something that I've done or I'm just walking past and it's something else because I don't know. It's not like, it's not like, oh, I'm scared of the police or everything's going on. It's just in the back of my head, it's like, Mm. that paranoia like oh like mum's been in jail I don't want to cause problems because I don't want to like go down that path or whatever it is it's it's not even like it's just always been like that like before the whole obviously the Black Lives Matter movement come around I've always been very paranoid of just causing a scene when it comes to police mm. just simply because I don't know that 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 little piece of me there is like I don't know it's just bare par paranoid that like, I just get paranoid so I, I don't want to cause a scene. I don't, I don't want to really, like, I don't like communicating with police. I just try and by all means, just avoid, just keep it. Do you know stepping. why you're lucky though? Because you're light skinned. Yeah. Very light skinned. You don't believe that? I, I mean, yes. not me to an extent, not really. Because when, when I lived in, when I lived in Kent, and like, obviously Kent is a very, back when I was younger, Caucasian area. More, more diverse now, but very, very like Caucasian. when I was eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, just like pure Caucasian people. Mm. Like, and especially they're more of an upper class. They're not like they're from London or they're streetwise. They're more posh, isn't it? Mm. So it's like when even being in primary school at a young age and being in Kent, there was bare racism. Like even like I'm very light complexioned and and mixed race and it's like there was so much so so much racism coming towards me and it's like I never really understood it because it's like okay you're young for one so it's like where are younger kids like picking it up from like from mm. primary school all the way into secondary school as well and not just that it's like to an extent it's like okay but even like me being lighter skinned it's like how are you kind of being racist towards someone and you like you don't really know them as a person and they're a child and it's like going from London to Kent it's like a big difference because London's diverse in my primary school when I was in London there was so so many different cultures Asian kids black kids like white kids bare different cultures and I went to Kent and I went to a primary school and I'm not 
only child of any other ethnic background in the whole entire school like the first primary school i went to there's not another mixed race child there's not like a chinese child nor an indian nor any asian child not any other like ethnic background of kids there and it's like right it's like now that i'm older i understand it a little bit but when you're younger it's like why are people like this you don't understand it Mm. and as well because of my obviously my home situation i grew up living with very white cockney people so it's like being like living in Kent as well. And like, because I lived with my white side of my family, even now itself is like, I never understood it until I got older. And then you realize that with, in terms of kids, they're literally copying what they see. So it's like with kids, it's like, well, to an extent it's like, it's like, it's wrong, but they don't really know no better. But when it's adults and even with adults being like that, like, as a kid or you know you could just tell there were certain parents that they don't want me to knock on their door and ask if their kid can come out to play <laughs> because I, i'm the mixed race kid on the estate it's uh, like you can just see it's like why like i never understood why but i don't i don't know i don't think with police it's because i'm a lighter complexion but i feel like just with me personally i never just i never ever i just always keep it stepping but i can get where you might think that because if I was if I was to straighten my hair mm. and I was to I don't know dress in certain clothes, I would literally you wouldn't even think I'm mixed race. You'd probably think I'm maybe quarter caste. Or you or got I'm Spanish in your something. Yeah. I would look like I'm Colombian maybe. Mm. So I can kind of understand it to an extent. Cause it's like, I don't know, it's almost like having a cheat code for me sometimes. It's like I can I can walk somewhere and I can put on a little East London Cockney accent and then people look at me one way and then as soon as they hear the Cockney in me, they'll be like, Oh, okay like she's one of us like you know we're just walking through the end sometimes like, like even even me can walk into mm. even like, me you like switch your voice. i grew up the same way you did i grew up in a cockney household i can't put on cockney they'll be like <laughs> get back in your country <laughs> <laughs> like it's, it's it's different for me in that sense like, i can just i don't know it's like kind of it's like a, a switch life. yeah it's a cheat code hannah basically. montana things come on before we're going to break, quick question here. Yeah. What would you like to say is the best town in London is in terms of that food, entertainment, transport? East. Town. Come on. Town. 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 What's a town? Yeah. <laughs> Stratford. Oh. Hackney. Oh, Shoreditch. Like a postcode. Oh, okay. Mm. Croydon. It's not East London. It's somewhere in West, but not East. West for you, because you, 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 you like to chill there, innit? I like West. Well, Bush. Yeah, uh, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll be right. Well, like, I said, me personally, it's Shoreditch. I think Shoreditch is the best place. Yeah, Shoreditch, definitely. Shoreditch, is the best place, isn't it? Shoreditch. But my friend said it. He said Stratford. And no one said know. Bush. I no, like, do you know why? Like, Oxford Surface and places like that. Oh, yeah. Like, like Trafalgar Square. Isn't it? Trafalgar Square. I remember this guy yeah. like, in okay, Trafalgar that. Square. But the reason why I say Shoreditch is because Shoreditch, there's like a place where you can go, oh, God, black people are definitely going to be here in it. Trafalgar Square, I can't find a place like that, isn't it? Also, I can't find a place like that. Do you know what? Then I would even say you got I the black people busking like, in Trafalgar Square, the white people clapping. <laughs> I, I don't like Hackney, but Hackney as well. Yeah, like, he's a shout. Oh, we're I'll, talking I'll, like black yeah. culture. Yeah, I can't like Hackney. Like, I like my peppers and spice. <laughs> <laughs> I love my peppers and spice, isn't it? Well, we're gonna have a quick break right now. Start with your socials. Where can we find you at? Um, so my Instagram is K and Raquel. My Snapchat is K and Dot Raquel. My TikTok is K and Raquel. My Twitter is Kay and Raquel, basically Kay and Raquel everywhere. And the Um wow. My Insta and my TikTok is Bernicelli, B-E-R-N-I-C-E-L, L-L. four eyes. I don't want people on my Snapchat. <laughs> Your OnlyFans? <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, 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 I got an OnlyFans though, it's called Petite Feet. Is it? If you don't want to subscribe to that, please, I need money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but we'll have a quick break yet. Yeah. Tips talk, maybe Wednesday champagne the conversation. Here we go. Cheers. Petite <laughs> He is proper. You know, he's doing it now. You're fulfilling his dreams. No, yeah. yeah, exactly. No, no, yeah. Dear Pops, shit's been tough Know you're watching over and you're lifting me up Went down the wrong path and I didn't give a fuck Now I'm changing my life, could have been in those cuffs Fighting demons in my head, laying in my bed 
praying for forgiveness. No, I could have been dead. Mama, yes, yeah, she left me, and now my heart turned cold. She lied and she stole from me. The story's been told. Happiness is stripped away. All the memories start to fade. Mommy's boyfriend and abuser wanna run, but I just pray. Picking 10 years on why he did it, feel betrayed. In a sense, was taken from me from the little wage of eight. He acting like a stranger, mama's in the bed, he lay. Dumb and acting clueless, but forgive us a new day. I tried to keep in contact, texting, hey, are you okay? One would answer this little context. No, her spirit ain't the same, but just know that you saved me. And I thank you for my good father. Know that man there, yeah, he raised me, and fame will never change me. Just know that when I'm winning, he is too, and so are you, and know your soul's free. And now I'm happy, and I've got a family. And there's people who ain't blood who help my sanity, and I just want to thank you. Just know you matter to me, and try to take a bullet for you niggas happily. I feel your presence daily everywhere I go, and I know you're right there with me when I'm in the studio. Praying for your love and guidance when I'm on the radio. Just imagine you right there when I'm performing my first show. And I see you in the crowd, cheering hard and looking proud. Your little prince is growing, and yes, she a woman now. Still, I can't believe you're gone, heart shattered, broken too. But I know that you can hear me, here's my letter just for you. There's layers to me that a person never sees Broken soul with fear, big aspirations, bigger dreams Smiling but there's pain, not every fingers as it seems Started cutting double mental health since 2013 And I never told no one that But I know you saw that My darkest moments slipped my vein way back Wish I could take that back I got some help, sometimes I do relapse I could have died a couple times, how whack Now I'm trying hard and know there's light at the end of the tunnel Try to love myself much harder, keep my feelings in a bubble Feeling in the rhythms, car, I know this shit won't fumble Got a team of Phyllis members, know that I can name a couple Look how far I've come, stuff I've still yet to achieve Pat myself all on the back and soon be living out my dream The diamonds and the purse is not important, all the streams Just wanna live my truth and tell my story on their screens Long as shit that I've written and no more pain is forbidden Know there's niggas that hurt me but all your sins are forgiven Since he had your first grandchild, he looks like you, I've been stricken One day I'll have a child, good only no stories written Forever is a long time, but I'll wait however long Just to see your face again, trust out to care of Uncle John I conquered all the fears, all the pain and all this letter Pops, I miss you when your cuddles, love you always and forever Forever You're doing the thing forever. that he always wanted to do but didn't have the confidence to do You know? And that's to be, to be someone Why I'm a late night text In the studio my phone's on airplane mode Can't talk when I'm eating my bread I talk late nights so I don't take no rest Bags on my eyes, got my eyes on the bag All damn day I'll be running up checks All day, all day, belly my line Maybe trying to get no A In the sheets and I waste no time Once I'm in then I'm out I don't give you no foreplay Been told that this shit's unhealthy Patting up quick, kicking, digging out your grave Grind hard but stop till I drop Till the baby I shift, I ain't slept in four days I ain't slept in four days, need six goals in my bag minimum Chasing a bag, but I'm focused on greatness I can't be a normal citizen So I can't let a man close, always on my ten toes Yeah, I stay vigilant If you ain't fun, you can't break these rules Yeah, I move like Trump, I don't take immigrants Discipline, so my stay militant Can't give up my heart till the checks increase She said that I'm taking a biscuit piss Cause you ain't digesting these Heavy heart, but I'm blessed in these Gotta go so far, can't rest my feet Ties to work in the graveyard shift Cause this is the only time that I rest in peace I'm obsessed with peace Never done what they get expected of me Lost friendships make grand saints I don't lose sleep, being stressed with G's Have me a wife, so pain, so sweet And nobody comes straight from the West Indies Had to let go, get focused on door Been told by my bro that I'm next to the scene So I'm digging in the shit, I make moves if you see Every girl I set his rubber, don't chase no dreams Doubts I have been just to the side Can't take me the time that I spent to suck you Couldn't care who's more successful than me G. I've never been faced with reflection on me Then time knows I don't next to me So if you hate on a bench, you're flexing for me Like, yeah She asked why I never late night text In the shoes on my phone's on airplane mode Can't talk when I'm eating my bread I talk late nights, I don't take no rest Bags on my eyes, got my eyes on the bag All damn day, I'll be running up checks 
All day, all day, but in my line, maybe trying to get no A In the sheets, I don't waste no time, once I'm in, then I'm out, I don't do no foreplay Been told that this shit's unhealthy, patting up quick, you're digging out your grave Grind hard, but stop till I drop on this graveyard shift, I slept in three days You know that I grind for the shit, yeah, I ride for the shit, no, I die for the shit, uh And I ain't got no time for no bitch, telling lies, no, I dip, ain't no cap when I spit, uh I spend the dough, I make it back, and I take your nigga, that's a fact Looking at the back, like, where you at? Look at these hoes, know that they whack Don't care about these hoes, I just want the dough I sell dreams a lot, he tries so much slow You know the motto, but stand in the road They know what I'm on, it's no secret, bro Uh, it's no secret, though Spell it like T-O-X-I-C Better than bad, they can never beat me Petite Brits is living the dream Late night texting, turns into sexting Turned on the lights, babe, just start undressing Grab on my thighs, but just start caressing No, I'm with you, but I'm texting your brethren But don't ask no questions Just come give me some affection He wants all my love and attention He say I've become his obsession And I'm paving the way, there is nothing that you bitches can say The end of the day, you won't know my name I'm spitting this fire, it's all for this game This move on the low, just know I'm legit Stop belling my fraud, asking me to commit Bonnie and Clyde for the door on this bitch I said what I said, now I'm running this shit, what? She asked why I never late night text In the shoes of my phone's on airplane mode Can't talk when I make my bread I talk late night, so I don't take no rest Bags on my eyes, got my eyes on the bag All damn day, I'll be running up checks all day, all day, belly my line, maybe tryna get no A In the sheets, I don't waste no time, once I'm in, then I'm out I don't do no foreplay, been told that this shit's unhealthy Patting up quick, kick it, digging out your grave Grind hard, won't stop till I drop on this graveyard shift I ain't slept in four days oh. Hello? 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 Make sure you wait out somewhere. Yeah? Say that on the side. BG. No, that girl, you know, come on. No. BD. SM Shower. One in the Star Trucks. We're in the studio now. I like. Yo, yo, what's going on, people? We're back right now. Yeah, to talk Wavy Wednesday, champagne, the conversation, Vant before bed. Again, Drunk with Jay. I'm so wave right now. It's unbelievable. England's on extra time right now. But forget about England because we've got the two guests. Come on. Jeez. <laughs> they got me wave right now. <laughs> hey, I'm feeling wavy. I'm <laughs> a, I don't even She's drink. even sipping. I don't even drink. <laughs> sipping. Never, never. Oh. <laughs> now there's no mixer for you here, babes. <laughs> oh, flip. So listen, no, in terms of mental illness, do you not feel like get enough support? No. No. Oh, it's the mixer. <laughs> so what relaxes you lot then? What keeps you sane then? Alcohol. Alcohol. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Hey, no, 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 no. Like, nah. Alright, nah, cool, I cool. Like, I'll, big up. Weed, like, yeah, I'll, I'll big up. Yeah, I'll big up. I'll big up my best friend. Cause I can't lie. Like mm. when I, when we first became like best friends again, like I was going through a really like rough time. I didn't know where my life was heading. Like I didn't know what I wanted to do with the music. And literally, like the first day we linked up again, we went studio. I'm I'm in the studio, nervous as hell, and she's like, "Okay, like." Where Bigging me up, you, like, like, what are you doing? Like, this ain't you, like, what you? I ain't seen her in years as well, like, mm. maybe like two years, maybe. Yeah, so I'm thinking, no, like, this ain't KM. Yeah, man. this ain't KM. She, she's literally been like a very big support for it's me. It's mad as well because I feel like we come around, we started hanging around with each other again at the right time because it's like, obviously, I'm a qualified hairdresser, mm. but I don't want to do hairdressing no more. So it's like, I'm figuring out what I want to do, and I'm realizing, like, raw, like, me, music industry, that. Like, okay cool this is this is my scene it's like if she wasn't around i wouldn't know certain things about myself that i know now that's like i'm only figuring out a couple months ago but still i wouldn't have known it mm. and it's like even then it's like my calm balances her storm but her storm evens out my calm because i'm too calm Does that Jeez. Oh, God. it's weird it's of like course. it's very very weird it's mm. like i have I've also friendships yeah but, it's not like this yeah like, i've even brought her out of her show she's very like when I when we first started chilling, she was very like like timid, timid. Like, I, I and I said, bro, things. like people would kind of take the piss with her, and I'd be like, bro, don't let that run. Like you can't let that run. You can't let people walk all over you the way that they want to walk all over you because mm. then what are you? A map. It's mad as well because I remember that one of the first things her saying to me is, if me and you're gonna start chilling together again, you need to toughen yourself up a little. That's bit. What I'm I gonna said. have to turn you into me a little bit. That's literally what she said. I'm gonna have to turn you into me. You're gonna have to, yeah. She goes, you're gonna do you let people walk all over you, and you don't. You're a bad bitch. You don't. You don't deserve nobody to walk all over you, like hundred percent. 
I know you're not starting out, but you've got a year's experience. But do you think, do you have any genuine friends in the scene? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, have a couple. Have a couple. So. Okay, that's good, man. Yeah, I would say, like, not lifelong friendships, but but definitely met a couple of genuine people along the way. You know, like, in a short space of time, I can sit there and say, all right, people have gave me certain advice or shown me certain things that I've known like even my own family members i'm talking like older cousins maybe aunties uncles it's like they haven't even went out of their way to want to get to know like mm. okay so what are you interested in to want to help me or to even want to speak about certain things like just genuine things that are life-changing like career even as far as mental health like they don't reach out they don't want to hear about it but it's people that are meeting and it's like they're showing a genuine like concern if that makes sense so it's like raw like okay cool like I can fuck with you for that. Like, there's mm. not many people that are out here doing that for me. Hundred percent. Do you guys look at the comments? Like, do you take that? Like, do you take that in? I look at the comments, and sometimes I sit there and I'm like, oh my god, like how vulgar. And then, <laughs> and then I'm like, if you ain't got hate, you ain't popping, really. Big facts. I, I tell her I don't look at the comments. I don't look at comments that like, unless it's obviously a comment from my friend or something like that like in terms of socials even if it's from a friend you can comment on my life but guess what you don't live a day in my shoes mm. you yeah. don't you don't you don't deal with the mental health problems that i deal with you don't see what i see so it's like it's easy to judge from the outside looking in but i think what people forget is when they're putting their input or their their comments is you're only commenting on what I'm choosing to show you. Mm. So it's like, how can you speak upon something and you don't even know the full situation? You only know part of it or you're only seeing part of it. It's like, that's why with comments, it's like, all right, cool. Like, I'll let you slide with that one. Just let it run in it because it's, you don't, you don't know the full extent of something. Mm. 100%. Do you look like any social media anxiety? Like in terms of like, if I post a picture, if you don't get certain likes, like it has to hit this on likes or no. this one. You don't care about likes or views and I don't care about that stuff. Okay. I'll be honest. Not like, really, no. I don't really care about that stuff. I will still do the same things. It's one of them things that with so with social media, I feel like you're always going to see that quote where it's like, oh, if you don't have this or you don't you do not do a something certain, that like, people are always going to look at you like the black sheep or people are going to fit put you into a stereotype or you're not going to fit a stereotype. But I feel like with socials, if you're not doing it for yourself, then what's the point of even having a social That's what media I'm saying, account? Like, like, that. Why do you want to be like everyone else or have the same things as everyone else or look like everyone else when you yourself are your own person? You was born alone. You're going to die alone. You're not going to die with a group of people 100%. wearing the same garments. A hundred percent. Like even like as, as far as like influencers, like I see them wearing all these designer garments and all this and all that. But there's so many influencers that I know myself and it's like, you're struggling to find your next meal. <laughs> it's true, no, though. It's, true. <laughs> it's so it's true. true. There's some people that have actually got the bread to do that and all fair play to you. Mm. But there's actually, like, I can say with my whole chest right now, I could not go Selfridges and buy out the whole store. Be I fair. couldn't do it. Mm. I know I'm going I'm going to get there. It's, it's going to happen. When but it why happens, does it be Selfridges, though? Why can't we like a black-owned business or something like that? Though? I love black-owned businesses. I'll be honest. Like, mm. I feel like they're coming up a lot now and i feel like they need to continue to do their thing no matter what but it's like you know what i mean like selfridges is very very much common for people to talk about in this in especially this especially this generation <sighs> it's all selfridges flannels valenci louis <laughs> louis <laughs> badegudi that's that's what Wait, see, i got that's my little what, i got my little louis is. got my little gucci but like i wouldn't like i would rather prioritize what i need to prioritize like the bills where mm. my next meal's coming from then to go to Selfridges and be like, oh my God, there's a Prada bag. I'm going to buy that. No, like, because I know that I'm not going to be able to find the next meal. Well, Actually, I always I always true. will because, you know, but <laughs> you get my point? Like, do you get my point? Uh, I hear that. As you don't know, this show is called Tips Talk. So I need a drunk story from both of you two, isn't it? Or high story. Okay. What could, like, oh, like, when I got really, really drunk. Yeah. Oh, God. There's so many. When I got really drunk, I'm trying to think. Hey, what's the funniest story? Hey, no. I remember when I was 15. And it was one of my friend's birthdays, isn't it? Mm. And we all said, oh, yeah, we're going to chip in a little piece of five pounds for a Bacardi bottle, innit? 
I drank most of that Bacardi water. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if you saw the videos from that night, like I lost all my friends from that night. Like I was, I was literally casting everybody out. I was Serious? on the floor. Like I was, I was a clown. But that's why they say teen drinking is really bad because. Oh, it's really bad. Oh my god. No, I'm trying to think of a deeper story. Drunk words of civil thoughts. Remember that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the only the only story I can the only story I'm willing to give. <laughs> you know, like the only story I'm willing to give. Um obviously I'm a smoker, so I feel like it was like I wasn't a, just a new smoker, but I was like just started smoking in it, like proper, like okay, mm. cool. Like I can build it myself now, and da, da 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 da. Felt like I was a big woman, so obviously I've bun a like I would bun a spliff with my friend, but I've bun a few extra spliffs, and I, I've made my way to the bus stop. Mm. Oh, I've made my way on the bus. I've made my way to the bus stop down the road from my house, and like you know where my house is. Yeah. The bus stop to my house is a straight road. My my house is literally just at the end of the road, and it's not even a block. It's literally like a less than a thirty second walk. It's a couple of steps. I've got off the bus. <laughs> Now, obviously, I haven't greened out because <laughs> I've never been sick from smoking. Why do I feel I've, like I know this guy? I got the feeling of greening out, innit? Mm. So I've sat down on the wall behind the bus stop and mm. I'm sitting there for time. Some <laughs> boys come and tap me and obviously I flinch, but I'm not deep and I'm falling asleep at the bus stop. So I've left my friend's house around six o'clock. It's eight o'clock at night. The boys sat with me for an hour and then there's a group of people walking past. And obviously I've moved from one house um in east london to a different house in east london mm. but obviously these people like they still know my family so the woman's noticed me she's like are you so and so's granddaughter because obviously i live with my grandparents and i'm like huh like hi, I'm, <laughs> hi, I'm, I'm, I'm not being sick but i'm greening out i'm like what she's like yeah you live at that house at the end of the road now like i know who your granddad is da, 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 really close family friends and i'm looking at her thinking okay cool like everyone knows my granddad but i don't know you so why are you trying to take me to my house <laughs> obviously they, they've asked the boy that was with me they said like um was she fine like has anything happened he said no i just found her here like I think she's high, her eyes are red, like she would have been falling asleep, but she wouldn't get up and show me where she lives. This lady and this other group of people started walking me back to my house now. Oh. And obviously, I'm new to smoking weed, remember? So everyone in my house knows that I'm smoking, mm. but obviously, like, no one smokes other than my uncle. So they're not really, do you get it? They're kind of on me a little bit for it, but they're not going to tell me I have to stop smoking. And then my nan just opens the front door and if you know my nan, oh. my nan is on crud, you know. Big my up. nan is on pure badness, pure violence. Big like, up nanny T though, big up nanny T. <laughs> big up nanny T, but my nan, like, I, I love my nan to bits, but my nan is one scary woman. Crud! <laughs> oh, it's like, shut up. Hey, like, my nan is crazy. So obviously she opened the front door. My uncle's behind her. They see me, I'm stumbling in through the front door. I went and got my food, sat in the garden. I'm avoiding everyone. Mm. My nan come and spoke to me in the morning. She said, you better fucking stop smoking weed. <laughs> Obviously, my nan's cockney in it. So the way she's saying, you better fucking stop smoking weed. I tell you what, Adele, you see you, I've had enough. Da -da 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 -da. You can't handle your substances. Obviously, I'm about to go downstairs and bill it now. Like, because I'm, <laughs> I'm sober now, but my nan, she will never let that one go. Even my nan's crazy to point. My nan hit me in the head with a frying pan, you know, because oh. I'm bad man. Like my nan, my nan, she don't ramp. She's making sure I'm on that straight path, you know. She don't ramp. Even she when don't. my friends come over, you, even you get told. Them oh my, my days! So I came in times. drunk one time at Adele's house. They had a barbecue. Obviously, they had a barbecue. Bare leftovers. Bare no, leftovers. No, no one knew that. We thought the food was for everyone. So obviously we're thinking, we're thinking, calm. Let's like, eat this. Isn't yeah. It? Mm. She's yacked as well. So, so her words are coming out slow. <laughs> <laughs> so I picked up a little piece of chicken, a little piece of burger. Yeah, so yeah. I'm, I'm about... Really nice. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, so really bro, nice. bro, this burger's really nice. Nanny T's come out now. That burger wasn't for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh what? no. She said, that was for Nathan. I said, oh. Sorry, nanny T, man. And you know, it's like you, you don't even know what to say in the moment. But my nan's, she's a young nan. She's 50, like, she's 50. She's lit, though. So okay. she's she always taking kind of selfies. Lit, but you can't take the piss out of her. Really. She's always taking selfies on Snapchat. Word, always taking yeah. selfies on Snapchat. I have a better drunk story, though. It's a bit of a mad one, though. So, yes, she could be... so cool. I've seen drunk stories of you in trolleys on your Snapchat. Hey, allow, 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 allow. <laughs> I live in Las Vegas. Let's just 
take that. <laughs> that that in itself is just that mad. itself is a story. But um, my friend must have had a party in the ends, mm. and obviously, like I was about what sixteen, maybe fifteen, and obviously, I met my first ever boyfriend there. Mm. And obviously, like I had, I I I was talking to two other boys before I met this boy. At the same time. Yeah, and they, and um, they both came to the party, and obviously I was drunk, so obviously like one of them left without saying bye to me, and obviously I'm drunk. What other way? You're two 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 same guys at the same yeah. party. Yeah. Hey. So one of them left, and obviously like me, when I drink brown liquor, I can get feisty. When I drink white liquor, I'm like, oh my god, I love you guys. No, it was the brown liquor that day. So basically, like he's walking out the party, he's left. I've called him on Where are you? Where are you? It's calm. I'm going to lip somebody else. Bye. And I've hung up now. So cool. I've seen this the other guy that I'm chatting to. Lips him now outside the party. And I don't know what triggered me, but he upset me, innit? I don't know what he did. But he upset me you know, in front of everybody. I'm like, you eat your gums anyway you do 419 to get all your gums come on we all know you're not money up like that like i'm i'm g checking him in front of everybody hey. I don't remember none of this being told by all my brethren the next day oh my god i lost all my things what a sad day but i met my first boyfriend so uh, that that, that was even a curse oh my god that was even a curse boy hey do you guys have any regrets yeah Apart from that situation, no, that that I don't regret. Like okay. that was needed. No. My first boyfriend is my biggest regret. Why is that? Oh boy, he. Oh god. He's the reason for that. He's the reason we stopped being friends. Yeah. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. He's the reason this we stopped being friends. This men. is overcoming yes, men. Like if you knew the story. Like your background history. Oh. Tune into her YouTube for a story time. <laughs> yeah, the story's <laughs> up story there. Time's on her YouTube, so okay. we should explain it though. Like yeah. so you may as well get it out there. Keep it brief, brief in it. Obviously, like there's obviously it's not really two sides in it, but there's his side and then there's there's my no side. there's no his side. His the, side doesn't matter. It doesn't that, count. He's from Hackney. It doesn't side. matter. <laughs> He's from the Gallo Gallo. No, no offense. Wait, hold on. Don't you look guys like South guys? Oh, I mean, um, <laughs> nah, not really. Uh, South guys. I mean, I've him. spoken to one South guy. I mean, <laughs> he's alright, isn't it? Like, big up, <laughs> big up my guys. So, <laughs> you know who I'm talking about, so. What to the brief then? The oh yeah, the brief then. Cool. Oh, so obviously, long story short, yeah, mm. I broke up with him. She and slept with him. him. Okay. No man. Yeah, that's basically yeah, like, <laughs> And then a couple months later, she planned me a surprise birthday party and didn't tell me that she she slept with him. Yeah. And then I found out, and I was like three months pregnant with his child. So yeah. a bit mad. A bit mad. A bit that mad. sounds like a Mori story. Yeah. Eastenders, <laughs> follow me. I want to be on the show. Did you guys ever do acting? Yeah, I used to do acting. Like what kind of acting? Like Broadway or acting? Yeah, Broadway. Acting? Um, okay. I used to perform in The Lion King. You was you? Nala. Okay, that's a big part. You look like you would have been Nala. Come oh, on. I thought he was going to be like the tree or something like that, or like a leaf or something. You're taking yeah, a bit. No, what? Asking. What? Because I'm skinny, yeah? No, I'm just asking. Is that, is that what you're on? I don't know. She could never be a tree or, or something like that, because you see this. That's too still. Shout out Romina, because obviously when she goes to get her she nails done. She does my nails. Romina just wants her to take a picture like this. Just stop. Sit there like that, and I'm here all doing this him. in the camera. Like. <laughs> I'm never serious, him, never okay. serious. Well, you should do like you do like a TV series or web series. Then I think we deserve our own what? show. What would it be? I don't know what we'd call it. Magic fingers. Magic, yeah, yeah, yeah. Magic finger. Uh, like, I don't know. That's a bit pornish, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, yeah. yeah but I can't like if if people think that they want to tune in because they think it's something mad, and then and then it would have been reality. We need to be on something like Bad Girls Club, but just us. Yeah, but do you know what it is? That thing is so toxic. It's unbelievable. It's so Why toxic. It? I wouldn't even go in there. No, to no, fight. I did edibles in it, and I didn't know Dream Doll was actually on it in it. Oh, I didn't know she, that Dream Doll oh, on it. Don't talk to me about my wife, man. No, Dream Doll's cool. Don't get me wrong, but it's, that thing is toxic in it. That's why it's like gel for me. I, so I saw it's good, like female. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dream you like Dream Doll, yeah? Oh, I love her. Dream I know Ruby Rose. Oh, he's a Dream Doll sweet. Listen. This is sweet. 
Stop it, man. <laughs> some they got, she got with Doja Cat. Yeah, that best friend. That's my best friend. She yeah. a real bad bitch. Got her own money. That's my bestie in a test. Yeah. But that's, something, yeah. that's, some, that's what I think that's missing from the UK. There's no authenticity, isn't there? Yeah. There's no personality. We have a it. song together, you know. Who? Hey. Me and Adele. Oh, I thought you in Dream Doll. Okay. No. Maybe hey, Dream Doll, if you ever <laughs> listen to this, please. I want a feature. Yeah? So, what's the song called then? Done Dizzy. Done Dizzy. Where's the video coming out of? When oh, we're never doing Maybe that. Why not? Life. Maybe in another life. <laughs> She's not a rapper. So no, no, you she doesn't. You need to be a rapper these days. Yeah, but we she... need the personality. Yeah, Carly's but... a rapper at first. She's a personality. Maybe in another life, but rapping is. Like, do you know what? I feel like maybe one day in the late, late future, maybe I might take music beeps. serious in that aspect. But right now, for me, it's uh, that's not what I want to do. She's my manager. My music career. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna say serious. What's your opinion about the whole Matt Cannock no Cannock since you're Asian? Huh? You know that guy? What yeah, Matt Cannock, Cannock. Guy, the the, the the PM. No, not the PM, the guy that was Oh, the one that was doing up like, Sneaky Link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sneaky Link. It's Matt, it's Matt in it, yeah. Hey, I'll be. Is this he's, politics? Yeah, and you know um, the guy. You know the guy that got caught politics. sleeping with somebody, kissing somebody yeah. else for the cameras. You know, me and politics do not work well. I, I hate politics. I, I think like Boris Johnson, I think it's so hilarious. Boris can shut up. <laughs> you know, yeah. If if shut if up. there was any song playing right there in that room, mm. do you know where it'd be? Yeah. Introducing Vanessa <laughs> Bling. <laughs> no, no. And she'd be singing two man. And the PM, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quick question, okay? Yeah. You look. Cur- <laughs> 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 I'm hey. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the lick is got. No, no, it's good. It's good. I was saying, no, no, you both are from the Caribbean. I take it, yeah. Yeah. Has it hurt your heart that like Afrobeats is suppressed, dancehall kind of? It's overtaking dancehall. I don't listen to Afrobeats. I love Afrobeats. No, I like Afrobeats, but dancehall at one point was. Banging, it? it's still banging. banging. No, it's not the same, no one. Come on, no, it's not, not the same. same. It's not the same. I, I never really like. I feel like everyone, everyone has Afro beats on their playlist, mm. or they have more Afro beats now than like. No, I might. I love Afro beats, but it's always dance hall for me. Always bashment. For always. You, yeah, but a lot of other people. Like, I'm hearing back in school, they're chucking on a two, one, two, wine and coach a little bit of chocolate. <laughs> <'Cause that was laughs> remember that dance? Beats. Remember that dance? Wine, wine. Hey, but do you know what it Willy is about? Bounce, you know, Willie Bounce, uh, 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 Willie Bounce, Willie Bounce. And now it's literally just all Afro beats. Like. No, but does, just, it, does it hurt your heart a little bit? The way you... Um, a little piece because I remember, like, I, I must have went on live one time and I was like, "Listen, if you play Afro beats at Carney, I'm gonna be mad." Because I used to not like Afro beats like that, but then like I is started, it? I started listening. Like I started like getting a lot more African friends. Mm. So. I started listening and it's kind of a vibe. I can't lie. You know, but Bashman, on. listen, you can never take away vibes, Cartel, man. Listen, free up vibes, though. Free up vibes. Vibes free up vibes. Like a listen. lot more there. Yeah, she telling me she not let go. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Baby! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You know why he changed as well? It's true. You got yeah, you guys oh vac- Are you not vaccinated? <laughs> I'm just asking. I'm not, I'm not asking. How dare you? I'm just asking. <laughs> No, no. So not, I'm thinking about it though. I'm I am thinking, thinking about I'm not it. Thinking about it until they have a permanent one. I want someone sure. close to me to get it. Yeah, obviously my nan's got it and that she's calm enough. But I want someone close, like like a black person, to get it, mm. and then like see if they start switching and twitching and so. and doing all these weird stuff. Then yeah, if if they seem if they seem fine, then I will get it. But I've been seeing on like my TikTok timeline that like, some guy he went and got it. Yeah, like three weeks later he's in a hospital after he's like booked a holiday he's in a hospital in another country mm. and he's got a blood clot right beside his heart mm. that he could die if he doesn't get seen and the hospital is full of people so mm. i mean you i don't know see, you see with me is it's it's bun the whole covid or if i can even catch covid i'm just scared of needles and i'm here and oh. i only last six months so what you want me to get it and then six months later i have to go through the stress of having a needle put in my arm bro tell them about when oh I had my no birthday. this girl one. This girl, she she had to go hospital because she wasn't feeling well. No. She's called me on FaceTime, like seven in the morning. Bro, they put my needle in my arm, bro. No, I've never bro. had a blood test. I've never had a blood test. She's. I'm scared of me. And then when she when she was too hungover, she had to get that. You know them pricky pricky that things. Finger prick things. Them mm. finger prick things for your blood, bro. She cried before it even pricked. Yeah. It was like she's a mess, but she likes tattoos. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's different then. No, but it's the same kind of needle, bro. <laughs> no, it's not. Just because it's no, not going through it's, all it's, the layers of your not, skin. It's not the needle, though. It's, it's like the needle is one thing and it's part of the problem. But look at how I firmed the last time. The needle is one thing, but it's the doctor. Like me and doctors, dentists, I hate it. Especially, mm. I don't know why. No offense to your, your species and your gender, but men, male doctors, they scare me. And do you remember that first blood test? It was a male doctor. The second blood test, I had a female do it and I was patterned. I'm like, yeah, I firm that like a bad bee, but <laughs> so the first one, Mad. needles, and then on top of that, like doctors, and then on top of that, male doctors. I don't know why, but I just don't like them. The fuck out. Again, I know you spoke about this at the beginning of the show. So do you honestly forgive a guy if he did something wrong? Honestly. I mean, I listen. Mean, yeah, I've been. I've been done very wrong. If we could speak about some of the situations we've been we've in. been in, well, like it would dumb. be mad. Like so I like just recently, I've been done very, very, very wrong. And Can you give us a little base about it. What happened? A little bit? No. Oh. <laughs> but like obviously, like I've been done very, very wrong. And old Karen would it would just go mad. Mm. Would just do the most, but. There, t- there comes a time where sometimes you just have to forgive because you gotta see, see you gotta see listen the balancing old me will lick off somebody brick someone's yard i'm not even playing games but yeah man like sometimes you gotta understand what people go through and you gotta understand why have they reacted the way that they've reacted mm. so it's almost like you can't really blame them because it's like yeah, but you sometimes people have to take a p- accountability yeah, from you if you're taking accountability, accountability for your actions and I can see you're genuinely sorry, then calm. Word. But if if you're trying to let me if you're trying to be friends with me again and you know just you know pick up where we left off, I'm gonna forgive, but I'm never gonna forget, especially if you're not taking accountability. So Word. for everyone out there, all the people them that done me wrong, me see you. Kill him with success. Period. That's what I was just yeah. about to say. Yes, You're finna see me on some billboards. <laughs> you finna see me on some billboards. You gonna feel sorry. And honestly, ladies, yeah, do you don't think the ring is a goal for you lot? Slightly, yeah. But do you know what it is? Like, I feel like for me, it's just what that happy mm. to get that little family unit to know that it's like it's settled, it's yours. You're happy, you're comfortable. I don't know. I feel like I don't. I didn't come from a necessarily a broken home mm. because I've obviously, like I said, I got my grandparents. I've always had like, even though my mom's not always been around, she's very, she's very much been present even without being present. And even as far as my pops, like I've, they've always been around. But I've never had it just my mom, my dad, me, or I don't have like necessarily never had the unit from the same parent. Like, mm. do you get it? Like. The perfect ideal family for me in my head, I'm sitting there thinking, all right, cool, wife, husband, two, three, four kids, I don't know, like one of each gender, you have a pet, like you all live under the same roof. That that is the ideal goal. But mm. obviously, certain things happen in life, it doesn't end up that way. But if I was to pick, can I have my life like this? One hundred percent, that's how I'm choosing to have I it. think it's very cliche. Very cliche to say. Cliche. Under I understand like the whole I've, I've come from a broken home. My, my home has been a lot more broken than the average person that mm. my mum was never really present. She's only just started trying to become present in my life. My dad was very much there, but I lost him. It's like for me, because I haven't seen it, I don't think it's substantial in my life. And either way, I think I'm going to marry a female, I'll be honest. Seriously? I think I'm going to marry don't a woman. Don't do that. I'm being serious. Why? Because... I don't know. I'm drawn more to what women. Are you, you're trying to say that like, men are trusting or no? You... I'm drawn more to women than men. I'm okay. bisexual, so. Oh, okay then. Yeah. I hear that. In terms of a first date, do you like have a, like a standard then? Mm. Mm. I mean, I I expect some effort, but what I also expect is not you saying, "Oh yeah, like, um, what are we doing? What's what's the plan? What do you like?" You should automatically. Be like, cool. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take control of this. I'm gonna pick you up at eight. Only one person in my whole life has done that for me, mm. and that was only recent. And it was a really good date. Like, I I really liked that date, but I don't really like the guy. 
<laughs> Hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. So you went out with him, even though you don't like him? It's, yeah, because so I was... using him then? No, no, no. I'm getting to know... I was getting to know him, innit? And obviously, like he went, he he made a lot of effort for the day. I'm not gonna cap. Like it was, it was a, it, it was really special. The fact that he he didn't say, oh yeah, I don't know what time I'm gonna come get you. He said, I'm picking you up at eight. Make sure you're ready. Even I was like, Adele's getting ready. Like, yeah. and he actually made a lot of effort to show me, oh yeah, it's like more than that. But then obviously, like he's kind of shut me down in a way, saying like, oh like I don't want a girlfriend right now. What's the point of taking me on a date then? Do you get it? He's kind of told me that. So my mind is now set on cool. I'm not going to like this guy because mm. he don't want a girlfriend. So if I start so it, to like you, so I'm going to hurt myself because yeah, I know I'm what you... myself because I know you don't want me in that 100%. Way. So now we're just, yeah, we're just like, having... I can be around you, but I don't like... We're just having I fun. I tell myself I will not like you. We're just having fun. We're going on dates. We're still getting to know each other. We're still seeing each other in a sort of type of way, but it's not... The reason why I ask that because I get a lot of flat. I take on well, the first day, I take girls Nando's, isn't it? That's my benchmark, isn't it? No, why not? I can't lie. Nando's is a 15 me, year old day. I'm not a but date person, but, I don't really care for dates or anything like that. So if you tell me we're gonna go on a date, the odds are I really don't care because I probably would rather just sit at home and order a pizza or something like that anyway. First link, yes, like it's because okay. I don't, I don't. I don't I would rather do an activity at home. Like I would rather a man see like, oh yeah, like, oh, you like what? For example, you like pancakes. Let's make pancakes. That shows me Wait, whose house? Your house or his house? Any house. Okay. Okay, not a band though. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, it's not just even that else I just don't I yeah. just don't feel like dates. Like, do you get it? Like, it's not important. I'm not but... a dates person. I'm more of a stay at home. I like to, do you get, I like to be inside. Like, I, I don't know, I'm not really I'm not a dates person, person because I don't, don't want to really be seen. I don't my yard point blank, period. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be seen because I know a lot of people, mm -hmm. I don't want to be seen. That's just what it is for me, that mm. I don't want to be seen. So what are you not watching at the moment then? What kind of TV series? I'm not watching Love Island, that's for sure. 100%, I don't, I'm not watching. I just watched Too Hot to Handle. Oh my gosh, that is my show. That is my show. I didn't like it. What? I love that concept. Yeah. I could. I just. I like the concept. I can't go in it. But the show is. So I didn't good. think that any of that, any of those couples that was genuine at all. Marvin won, and oh, what is broke up. Guy? Yeah, and he oh, broke God. up with, and they broke up. Oh, was it? Yeah, they're not together anymore. Yeah, it was, it was long distance. You knew. Yeah, it was but last, he just won fifty five thousand pounds. Yeah, get the money. There's, bounce, but, but, but. After that, of course, you're gonna get brand deals. You're gonna do this. You're gonna do that. You're gonna be making the money. He lives in France. She lives that in don't mean, bro. That don't mean nothing. But well, you don't live long distance. Yes. No. You live long right. distance. I don't believe so in it. You can a guy in America. I, I don't believe in it. But if I love a person, I will go the ends of the earth for them. Long distance, America. Yeah, and it's very rare that I love a person. That's another country. That's not no. That's another continent. Yeah, of course it's another continent, but if you're willing like to make it work, too much for that, mm. you, yeah, she's that different way. from me. She is very much wifey. She would, she wants to, she wants to be with you all the time. She wants to kiss you. It's she wants not to even hug I want to be with you all the time. Yeah, but I just you, want to be at your house. You don't need to be there. I just don't want to be at my own. I want to be with, with you. you. Mm. Like it doesn't matter. If Why your way? I'm just gonna to smell your boxer. See if I can. <laughs> like, you don't need. You don't need to be there. But I would just rather be. Like again, that that family unit, you see it. Like mm. I don't know, not necessarily the housewife role. But Basically, you simp. Cater to a man. She's a simp. Yeah, that's me. She's like, a simp. You and see me. It's well, very rare for me. You won't see me. You won't see me. I'm a disappeared, different person. Honestly, honestly, like when she was in a relationship, and I'll make it known as well. I'll when she was in a relationship, I felt like I lost a piece of myself, bro. She was ghosting. If you're in a relationship, does the guy have to post you in his socials? Uh -uh. <sighs> No, no because I wouldn't post him. Okay. The type of men I like, no thank you. I'm gonna find out information that's gonna hurt me. No yeah, I feel you. like because because like obviously like I'm a female, like I, I've dated people, I've done my the, I've done whatever, yeah. If I date a person and they post me, oh you know her, oh raw like my boy used to chat. Okay. Mm. I want a man that's like confident, like that knows like even if I have spoken to somebody, the past don't matter because it's like, I'm with you now. Mm. But there's a lot of men that will hear something about their girl and be like, yeah, I'm done with it. And you guys are a little bit younger than me, so does the body count matter then? To me, no. To me, no, but okay. all the boys in our generation, one grow the fuck up. 
<laughs> Yo. No, but on a it's dating true. Day, it's true. Fam, do you we... actually think you're gonna find a girl with a body count of two? You're going to stay with her for the next how long and married? Do you think the girl that you end up marrying is gonna have a body count of two? Depends how, depends like, how old she is. No, nah, but that's that's that's, that's you stupid. A young dude that's most, <laughs> of group, most of the people our age group lost their virginities probably when they were from 14. The age of 14 to 16. So their body counts, yeah. If we're talking, you're sleeping with you got a new boyfriend every year, your body counts on what like five, five now. That's what I'm like, saying. Like, minimum. So you, so you don't ask guys body count then? No, no I don't. I don't think it's I don't think it's streets. important. Do you know what like, it is? before you even tell me your body count, I already know like 10 girls you've chopped. That's what I'm saying. Do you get it? Hey. And it doesn't matter to me because it's like fam, you could chop her. It's this is what I'm gonna say this for whole my whole chest, yeah. For a man to sleep with a girl. They can sleep with anything with a pulse, but with, for a female, you got to chat to her. You got to have an emotional kind of connection before she gives she gives you anything. That's what you think. Okay. Yeah. Experience. Think. From, from my experience. From my hey, experience. Hey, Konza, I laugh as well. Konza, I laugh as well. Obviously, certain yeah, like they 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 might be a certain type of way, but obviously, even with like sleeping with someone on the first day, I don't think that. Like, I don't think it's that deep. I'll be real. If you yeah, feel well, a genuine connection no, for somebody, that. if you feel a genuine connection with somebody, why the fuck not? Mm. Why the fuck not? Like, I feel like it's so cliche. Like, I feel like there's a lot of females that act like they're not on that stuff. Oh, yeah. But I'm, I'm saving know. myself six month rule. You can't get any until six months, bro. Stop it. What's the point? Because, like, it, maybe one day, like, babes. <laughs> maybe one day. You're even going to. Free it up, and he's gonna decide. You know what? Yeah, I like this girl. Let me see where it goes. And you're maybe gonna last three months to the next, however long, mm. or he's just gonna leave as it is. That's like, that's the thing true. is with boys as well. Like boys will play it out to make you think. You know what? Like yeah, me and you are gonna da 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 da. That's the um, worst thing. And where you're young and you're vulnerable, it's like yeah, like, yeah. This is my man. Obviously, these times, like he, he just wants to chop. Man, but you are not his girl. That's so that's. Like, wait, hold on, wait. Can you not tell if a guy just wants one thing then? Yeah. Now, now, when when now, I was younger, wait, 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 as soon as you meet him, because it right, when I was younger, when I was younger, when I was younger, I kind of like, do you know what it was? Like, it sounds mad, but sexual coercion is a real thing. Like, I yeah. could go, I could go to you today and be like, oh, like, I really want to chat to you. Like, I want to get wanna to know you. you I want to take you in. Da, da, da. Da, da. You could free it up to me, and I could disappear. Type of way I well. could disappear. Mm. That's sexual coercion, and there's a lot of people that don't understand that that's actually a crime that's actually a crime like you could go to jail baby boy you could mm. go to jail like people people think it's a game to play with people's emotions like that break my heart like <laughs> break my heart i'm gonna break your yard what <laughs> you nah, but i would rather like nowadays like when i was younger i used to be like very much into like oh like you have to you have to be with me to get some and it's still kind of the same thing for me, but it's like at the same time, we're grown. Mm. Grown people do grown things. Like, what? What's the issue? Like, I, men can do it. Men can be for the community, mm. but girls can't men be, can be for this planet and the next. Women can't be sexually liberated. Basically, like you have to be a wifey kind of type. Like, I don't get it. Why is there a double standard? That's why again. That's why. That's why I like OG Nikki because she was honest from the get go, innit? She was honest from the get go, and that's why. That's why I listened to her when I was yeah, little, like, especially that's why, like, little when, well, when, when yeah, when she dropped it. when when OG Nikki dropped her song Changes. Yeah, she spoke about everything that she went through when she was little, and hmm. I related so much to her because it's like she came from a broken home, and when you come from a broken home, and then you go into an even more broken home, you're looking for love in the wrong places. That's what I saw myself in a lot. And it's like, fam, now it's like, I would rather a man tell me his intentions from the get-go. There's no point you telling me for I want to be with you. And it's not that like- If I don't want to be with you, if I want one thing, I'm going to tell a man. Yeah. If I if I think- if I if so I think wait, wait, someone, So you guys would say to the guy, I just want you for your money. You say you should No. Him. Okay, no, because Maybe then I'm not going to get your money. Go, then, isn't it? No, but, that, but that's the thing. That is a hustle. On the other hand, with sex, it's different because soul times come in and- do you know what I mean? And, and STDs and emotional connections. And, 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 and do you know what I mean? It's not just- as far as to the terms of pregnancy, like, you know, men will say shit during sex. Mm. 
Mm. And I don't think they process it, but you're speaking to a female. Female emotions and male emotions are very different. Mm. So even though in your head you're thinking, yeah, it's just sex, I can say this because it's in the moment. She's taking that information. She's planning a whole... You're literally, oh, you're literally telling me... You're trapping yourself, G. You're literally saying to me while you're inside, oh, this is mine, yeah. No, no, and you're not, no, you're no, not, no, you're I, not being real. No, I understand it because I got a lot of friends that say the L word, and I never use the L word in it, but they say the L word, and I think that's the game you shouldn't really play about. Isn't it? I remember the Even last time someone said that to me. I remember the last time someone said that to me during, and I believed it. Last time on someone a told me they love me, they cheated on me first time. Too. I basically got cheated on my. Oh. So again, in terms of music, then like a new listener, why should they listen to yourself then, Kate? Oh, because. Just if you me. haven't seen on my Instagram already, there's a lot of themes that I talk about that there's a lot of things that, you know, a lot of people, not just females, can relate to, like abuse, trauma, mm. rape. Like, there's a lot of things that I can talk about that can relate to so many people. But it's like, you know how some man can talk about going to a bando and having to trap because they have to provide for their family? Mm. There's also, like, emotions that people go through in life and it's like they don't know who to talk to they can't turn to no one because first of all if it's a man for example you lot have this stigma where it's it's a problem if you lot talk to people about your problems like but it's like it's good with my music because i can talk for them and it's mm. like they they feel they understand they're like i kind of feel a release because if she can talk about it so openly then maybe I can because there's a there's been a lot of males that have come in my DMs and been like, listen, I don't really listen to females like that, and I don't really listen to real rap like that. But everything you're saying, I can definitely relate to. Like a lot of males, it's been a lot of males that have come yeah. to me more than females. You'd be so surprised. Mm. There, there, there's a lot more males that are coming to me telling me about their mental health situations and saying that I help them because I'm being honest about my story and my situation. So. I feel like that's that's a reason why people should listen to me because I can definitely relate to a lot of people that feel like they're alone because there's been so many times when I've been surrounded mm. but felt so alone in my head because nobody knows what's going on in my head like and it's just mad. Also, I'm sexy. Duh. Uh, duh. Duh. I'm sexy. Um, as much as I can talk about the problems, I have a very bubbly personality. Like I can make a room just laugh I, I definitely could because even before i came on here i was so nervous so nervous this is my first radio interview so it's not the last story about that period yeah, we come back 100 come back of course <laughs> but yeah it's like yeah man well, i just know do you think that's a lane that you should go towards then because not really females tap into that deep kind of lane kind of thing everyone's on that wretched kind it's, of lane i don't want to limit myself to one lane Big fact. i want to do everything mm. like yeah. even if i jump on draw one day mm. i'm gonna make it jumpy Mm. Even if I jump on hip hop one day, I'm gonna make it jumpy. I even sing. Like yeah. I've got, I got a couple singing songs. Like. Whatever okay. she jumps on, it's gonna be that. But K and Raquel, it's gonna be yeah, it's yeah, gonna yeah, be that. Yeah, but it's yeah. gonna be K and it's gonna be this. But it's still gonna be her yeah. because it's like even, for example, obviously coming onto the music scene, and I think we've had this conversation so many times. Probably we're in and out of every studio session. It's like, or people ask the question like what how do you want to be seen in the industry mm. and obviously she don't really like want to be seen as just like she's offering a real a sex appeal or da, 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 da. Mm. she's a real rapper like but don't get it twisted she's a real rapper but she can i she can, can pull out the up. hot girl summer she's so versatile like she, you can give her a genre and she's gonna hop on the genre even if she thinks she can't do it she can do it mm. that's what's crazy about her because it's like as much as she doesn't doubt herself she still doubts herself hmm. so it's like it's like sometimes you're sitting there and it's like in the back of your mind, it's like, I know you can do it. I know deep down you know you can do it. So name? it's like, hear my man. <laughs> like, what are you like? Do you get it? What are you going to come out with today? Like being in studio with her, it's, it's an experience because it's like you genuinely don't know or you can't predict like mm. how the session's going to go. How, like, I mean, it's very predictable as to how she's going to work in studio because she her work ethic is. I don't, I don't think, I mean, I haven't been, I've been around a few people in studio, but I don't think I've seen someone who can literally hear something and write and then they're like, yeah, this is like, 
this is what I'm going for. Hundred percent. And literally start her session and end it exactly the way she wants it to. Like mm. the amount. It doesn't matter how many songs it is, the style or what it is. It's like whatever she puts in that session, she gar- she's taken that out of it and she's taken something extra from it. Hundred mm. percent. So it's like being in studio with Kate. It's 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 a vibe. Like it's not just a vibe, but it's a learning curve because you're seeing how she works and then you're seeing like we'll go to studio one week and then she'll jump on something like this and at first obviously I knew she could rap because even when we wasn't like besties I was still watching her in it like from that I'm picking like, up my cool, team, like, man. I see her like yeah she's doing her thing so I knew she could rap but then we're going to studio the next week and I'm seeing her like hop on this genre and then we're going to studio the next week and it's this genre and it's like rah the girl don't stop it's genre after genre after genre after genre there's not one thing she can limit herself to, but the way she's come into the industry, I think was definitely like me myself. I was a bit like, like, are you, are you sure? sure you want that to be your first drop? Because obviously it's very heartfelt the song, mm. but I feel like it was the best it was decision. Way, it was a good way to come into the industry because it's like you can't like even if you don't want to like her, what can you say about the song? Mm. Like. Even if you don't want to like the song, you can't really say nothing bad about it. Because it's a tribute. It's relatable it's a, as well. Yeah, exactly. Do you get it? Like, she's not coming on talking about no crud, no sex, no... Do you get it? She's mm. coming into the scene. Life experience. Real shit. So it's like, cool, she's done that. She's done, obviously, her Freestyle Fridays. If you go check them out, like, her dear mom, let her born... Um, let let her to my unborn born. child. Like, she's got her real rap on there. Even raps before that, she's posted her, like, a lot of real rap shit. And it's like, cool, now she's done that. It's like, maybe, like, she's basically set a foundation. So it's like, whatever she comes out with now, for example, all day, it's not necessarily real rap. It's what, like, R&B drill. R&B drill, yeah. But it's like, you, where she come in on, like, with the real rap, you wouldn't maybe expect her to come out with something like that. And there's mm. going to be so much more things and so many more, like, projects that she's got, that she's been working on, that, that she's completed, just people are just she's sleeping on it herself yeah. like, people are sleeping on her and she's sleeping on projects it's like it's like even the other day like big up my guy cons though cons he got a shout out yeah. but big him up like even the other day yeah like my friend swan big up swan as well my killy my killy so he was in studio with swan and he was he played a beat and i'm obviously like already drawn to it straight away mm. obviously swan's left the room like cons is like you sure bro you really want to jump from this one I, i'm not really feeling this one I laid my verse. Quan mm. said, yeah, I have yeah. nothing to say. He was shocked. Like, being in the studio with me, like like she said, is an experience. Like, I could get the weirdest of beats and turn it into something beautiful. Mm. And that's the best part about me. Like, I'm not trying to big up my own home, but I'm going to oh, big up myself. Up, I'm going to big up oh, myself. Wow. Like she said, I'm slept on. Mm. I really honestly feel like I'm slept on, but I timing. know that's what it's, it's all in due time and everything's going to come that I deserve. I know what I deserve and I know I'm going to get it regardless because there's nobody like me. Well, like even um, I feel like it was when you was right doing your freestyle for Dear Mum. Obviously, I like, I feel like there's certain artists like or just artists in the industry where obviously they've gone clear now it's like they don't appreciate their music as much as they used to but I feel like from a listener you can kind of hear it sometimes mm. the hunger's not there yeah, yeah the hunger's man. not there the no more. because because they know that because they have the formula yeah they know Word. what to do or so, the point it's just the machine behind them in it they know 100%. they can just try anything exactly the machines are gonna push they know they can, exactly they know it's gonna yeah, yeah like I've got the platform there it's, it's gone I feel like sometimes obviously if certain rappers was to come back around her, I feel like they would feel triggered, you know? Mm. Like, I, I sat there and I think the other day, obviously, when you was dropping your dear mum, I told her to listen to um, Brenda's Got a Baby Wait. by Tupac. Come on now. Um, and you hadn't heard it, no? No. So I okay. I said, I said this is a That's song that- That's the one Tupac song I never heard. I said, Seriously? this is a song that made me, like, this what? song, obviously, I, I saw it in the All Eyes On Me film. Like, that's where I first was like, okay, cool. Like, I haven't heard this song. Let me go do my research on okay. it. And that song, like, made me cry. And I was like, bro, when you when you do this freestyle, this is how people need to feel. Like, mm. listen to the track. Pain. Yeah, do you get it? Like, and even in the, the film, it was like, um, he wants people to feel like the raw emotion. Mm. I said, that's what people need to feel when like certain topics that you're rapping about, it's like, this is literally like how I want to feel. If I'm, if this is what I'm hearing you rap, 
you need to put it to me in a way where this is how I'm feeling. It's like, I feel like she does that and she portrays it so well. Mm. And I feel like there's other artists, like not just rappers as well, singers where they don't do that no more. And that's what kind of, I feel like in the music industry, that's what makes it go from your music, go from right, like you're a hard artist, you're popping right now to, okay, cool. You're just another artist who's made it. Mm. Like that's, that's why I feel like people need to come and listen to her because it's like, you're listening to the same things or the same people, the same sound every single day. And it's not just from one artist, it's from multiple artists. You're not listening to nothing new. You're not listening to nothing you can relate to. Talk about authenticity. Yeah, you're not even listening to anything that can open up your eyes. Mm. Like, that's going to teach you something, even if you haven't been through the situation. But anything I feel like people are learning from the industry nowadays is how to spend their money and what to spend their money on. Word. I don't know, are you signed at the moment or independent? Mm. Right now, I'm kind of independent. There's kind of in like, so, okay, so, okay, okay. I don't want to say that to jeopardize that. I said, is there any shows coming up? Any performances or anything? No, not right okay. now. I just still kind of want to work on myself and kind of just get a team. Okay. And I feel like I'm starting to become a part of a team. Hmm. Like I'm, right I'm being there. shown a lot of love. So big up cons though. Big up TRT down. Come on now. <laughs> mm. We have the hell squad. <laughs> hell squad! <laughs> we got five minutes left. Anything you want to let the people know? Tell the people. Don't sleep on her, you know. She's coming for you. Like, she's <laughs> she's coming for all of you. <laughs> Males and females. I am tipsy. <laughs> tipsy time. Like, you know I'm a tipsy, but nah, seriously, like, don't sleep on me because I can shock everybody. Mm. And I know I will. So if you sleep now, continue to sleep when I blow. Mm. That's literally it. Man. I don't even think there's anything more to say. Nah, it's not. Oh, go stream Dear Pops, all platforms. Go, yeah, go stream Dear Pops, Spotify, all YouTube, day. You listen to all day. Go check out Freestyle Fridays at Kerakel. Yes. Oh, go stream saying Twitter. <laughs> Miss you to bang out your Twitter more, oh, man. Oh, that's so dead, Twitter. man. No, 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 Twitter. Trust me. Do you know me, what's even Twitter. mad? Yeah, she went viral on Twitter. That's what I'm saying. Twitter. Twitter. She didn't even know she went viral. Twitter. That's what I'm saying. Twitter is the. That's what you need to do to because you know what again as you said right you don't know who's who in it you don't know who's gonna retweet you don't know who's gonna repost well, you who's know, gonna like and in it that's what you need to do in it but branch out yeah no definitely i will i will obviously like like, I'll try. Think about, like you're going clear on tiktok yeah Forget tiktok you're going clear on that in it basically like, the ig's basically. popping so yeah. the ig's right there but come on now another no, platform is it in it yeah know who's who. you i'm gonna try i'm gonna try i'm gonna try Trust, and then plus when you get them American girls, American guys, it's like, bro, she sounds all right, kind of thing, isn't it? Like, yeah, man, some American guy wants to fly me out <laughs> already, yeah. yeah. And he's he wants to pay for my he wants to pay for my stuff. Ooh. Is it flew out that yet? Ooh. Yeah, he's not. He's he, he wants to work. Okay. Yeah, he wants to work. Like, he's willing to pay for my ticket. Look at LMA. LMA. LMA went, she didn't get appreciated in the UK. Went to America. Bam. Yeah, man, you know she was from Lewisham. I That's thought you know what I I thought she was American. That's what I thought. I'm hearing in her voice like you don't sound American like. You sound like you're from London, and then and I look, found out she's from like, LMA. Oh, look at wow. Estelle. Estelle won't get love in the UK. Went to America. See me Bam. On a trip, I like to yeah, that's the same. Marsha broke up. Get no love in UK. Went to America. Yeah. Put the love in it. So I don't want to go to America though. Lies. If I, I I'm joking. Lies. If I go to America, lies. I will. Lies. I can't lie. You're gonna love hip hop Atlanta. Lies. You're definitely gonna love hip hop Atlanta. Yeah, what? What? If you and Spice, hundred percent. If if. <laughs> of course, everyone will go to America, right? Let's say we're going to America. We'll go. Yeah, we Back. need to Big go. Lit. Was the next holiday? We look at next then, mum. Oh, I've never been on holiday. I've never left the country. Seriously? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you that were deprived? Yeah, man. So it's just been Brighton and Butlins and that. Pete. I, <laughs> I've never even been Butlins, you know. I've been Isla White and that. That's it. Yeah, man. Cornwall and that. <laughs> <laughs> No, I definitely want to take a trip. No, definitely. Buy like next year, innit? Go to Dubai. Okay. I want to shake my ass on a yacht <laughs> in Dubai. <laughs> in a song. <laughs> I know it's going to come. Sugar daddy's telling me. And before we leave, what's your intake on surgery? I will, I've had my lips done. Okay. So um, I want to get a BBL. And I want to get my lips done even more. And a little bit of Botox. But I don't really need it because black don't crack. <laughs> Maybe this one over here might need it. I'm joking. I love, I love you. you. <laughs> um, I'm not really. Uh, I, I would say the only thing I want done is like 
my boobs, but not even to yeah, not you even don't need to that enhance bro. them just just so they would sit in a lift, certain place. A but I don't boob lift. like lips. I'm not really here for it. BBL, I'm not here for it. I'm not really here for surgery point blank period. Mm. Doesn't make sense because my mum is literally just qualified in like basically like Botox and all of that bullshit. Um, but I'm not really a fan of it still. I don't really, I don't even like wearing foundation too tough. I don't really like makeup too tough. This so. is her natural, just eyebrows. Eyebrows. She's beautiful, are, bruv. She's beautiful. My best. We don't have no ugly friends. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the end of the socials. Where can we find you at again? KM Raquel on every single socials, but KM dot Raquel on my Snapchat. Yeah. And Bernicelli on the gram, B E R N I C E L and four, four eyes. eyes. Don't ask my Snapchat, though. <laughs> <laughs> you get the OnlyFans? Petite thing! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just talk wavy Wednesday, champagne conversation. Here we go. Cheers! Cheers.